<laughs> What's up, folks? <laughs> Pog. Pog. Did you smash in Pog Champ? Pog. Pog you. All right, what's up? These are some interesting reactions. I'm glad to see you folks are all happy for me. And it's, I appreciate the support. It's, it's very, very good to see that. Thank you. I just want you for this, oh, uh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Tots old. You seem golly. I'm jolly, I'm very jolly. Thank you. I can see the glimmer in your face. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. It's fun here. I'd rather be standing, I'd rather be standing. Yeah, so right now I'm back at the hotel, or the, the one hotel that we were at, that Ollie and I had been staying before. Ollie's gone now. That's, okay, I said that like it was a celebration, but no, he's gone now as in like, as in it's sad, it's bittersweet. And I want him to, he says he wants to come to LA and that I gotta fly him out to LA. And I agree, I gotta fly him out to LA because he is the reason that all this happened. He's the reason that I came to Atlanta. like. Go to the Shrill Otter subreddit. There's an appreciation post, and I think that it's well deserved because Ollie really has been great. He's been, like, he's the one who's sort of like been driving me to do these different things. He's like, he went to a club for his first time after we came to Atlanta. So like, he's like changing his life. He's changing my life. He's like, it's like, it's because of him that all, a lot of these good things happen. It's crazy. Yeah. All I can afford a plane ticket to LA. You pull out on time. Uh, okay, well, I guess we gotta talk about that, shouldn't we? We need to talk about that. <laughs> anyway props to Ali yes I agree was it awkward it wasn't it actually wasn't it really wasn't which is which is what made it great is that it was actually an enjoyable experience for everyone involved here I gotta talk about it. I gotta like give the rundown story I gotta like be a storyteller again but this time it's gonna be a better storytelling because it's not gonna be so weird with like at the convention everyone's walking around we're in a public space like oh and then like there's like we see, we see people like, oh, how are you doing? How are you doing? You know, and it's, you know, I can, I can talk freely here, so it'll all be good. It looks um, yeah. Did you bleed? I did not bleed. I did not bleed. There you go. Anyway, so let's tell the story of how it went. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, so first we'll talk about the whole hotel situation because that was the first thing. Is like, she wanted to. Uh, have us watch anime together. Drink and watch anime together. Uh, between like noon and 5 p.m. is what she said. And I was like, I was just thinking, oh, it's not gonna be so good if Ollie's, you know, sleeping here. If he's still sleeping, it's gonna be kind of awkward. Like she comes in, like both of us come in, both of us walk into the room. Like both of us walk into the room and there's like, there's a lump in the bed and it's like, oh, Ollie's sleeping there. I don't mind him. Here, let's watch anime together. It's gonna be kind of awkward that way. So, uh, I called a bunch of different restaurants, I'm not, a bunch of different hotels, and asked them if they would have, be able to have a room uh, open for, for me to be able to check in by noon, which is not, kind of a, kind of a bit of a request, because most hotels don't allow check-in before 3 p.m. Don't allow check-in before 3 p.m. And it's, uh, it's reasonable, because that's, like, between check-out time, the check-out limit, which is 11 a.m. for a lot of hotels, and then check-in at 3 a.m., 3 p.m. is like when they do the cleaning. So I want, I needed to find a hotel that had an already cleaned room from the night before, I guess. So it had to be a hotel that wasn't fully booked the night before. So it took a lot of calling, but I had to do, wait until the morning of to do that. So I took, called a bunch of hotels and a number of them. It took maybe about four calls or so, four different hotels before we finally found one that uh, had a room ready and was not 
uh, a hotel that was completely booked the night before. So, yeah, hello Sam Ramos and Freddy. Tracksuit, he's wondering what's going on here. Hey Tracksuit, yeah, what's up here? Yeah, we have followed a similar path, I guess. People are saying that I'm, I'm following your path. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, uh, yes. What happened was that it was a really good hotel. I'm surprised. I like it so much more than this hotel. This is, it's all right. It's got a carpet. Ali says he likes the carpet, but I'm not a fan of the carpet. Like, it's like kind of dirty, you know? Carpets can get dingy. You kind of have to, they're high maintenance. They're too ambitious. So what I liked about this hotel was, oh, it also had a carpet, but it was in better condition. And like it had this uh, other hotel that I got, I, I just booked for one night. I uh, had like all these decorations, the rooms were cyan, I had these like framed paintings. It looked like, it looked really good. This is not, this is a little bit depressing. It's, you know, it's got dark mahogany and stuff like that. Get to the story. Anyway, it was a really good hotel. That's all I have to talk about. And so we met at the hotel, I think at 2.30 or maybe at 2 o'clock. I don't remember. We were, we were both a bit late. Actually, no, I was kind of on time, but she was also a bit late. She's an Uber driver too. So she's, I guess, people were saying she's like EBZ. I don't know because she's an Uber driver. But anyway, she drove to the hotel and we met and we, she brought her laptop and her HDMI port. I actually had to change rooms because the one that I was at had a very old TV that didn't have an HDMI. No one cares about the hotel, get to the details. Well, the hotel is like one of the things I was so happy about because it was just such a hassle or it was such an like uncertain point up until the morning of, up until like around noon of the day of, because I wasn't even sure if it was even gonna be possible. Yeah, oh, she just texted me. Damn, I never get to go, never got to go on top, maybe next time, uh, crossing fingers emoji. Well, anyway, I uh, just swiped that notification right out of there, but yeah, uh, let's see, what happened? Yeah, so she brought her laptop and her HDMI cable, and she plugged it in, and we started like choosing different animes. We were like trying to pick, different ones. I don't know anything about anime, so she was like picking her favorite ones. She has so many tabs open, but like not as many as me, so I'm, you know, still the master of having lots of tabs open. Did you hear from the back? Uh, I will talk about that, all right? I, okay, now I know. It, it, I'm like not get, doing a good, a good job of like getting to the point because, you know, this happened so recently. I'm just trying to like decipher in my head. Yeah. Hello, Clickbait King and Foster. Who would have thought anime was gonna get you there? Anime's like, lots of people are into anime. Yeah, hello, clickbait king. More respect for not knowing much about anime and crushing stereotypes. Well, I mean, I guess that stereotype is about to become more, more true. I'm gonna follow the stereotype if I learn more about anime. Yeah, oh, I'm so happy for you, Shul. Thank you, Tenny lover. Tenny, I gotta visit you sometime again. You know, I gotta go back to Oakland. I gotta come back to the Bay Area, because I really like you. But anyway, uh, yes. So we narrowed it down to like five animes, and so, she started playing the first anime, the first show. I think it was uh, Kawaii, Kawaii Complex. She said it was really funny because I told her like that shows that I may be interested in are comedies. Like I want have to have something funny. You know, I don't want to have something that's like self serious. I want to have something that has jokes because that like it sort of doesn't take itself so seriously and it's a little bit more, a little bit more easy to get into, more approachable. Yeah, who took the virginity? Uh, the title name though. Yeah, it's a, an accurate title. Anyway, so we started watching Kawaii Complex because it's a funny anime apparently and she likes it. Yeah, and uh, she started making the drinks because that was sort of like a plan to watch anime and drink. So she brought like this, what is it called? It was like tropical rum? No, it was coconut rum, coconut rum. And she brought these other Jamaican drinks and she was making them because apparently she knows how to make a good drink. She like actually had a bartender license, but it expired like a number of years ago. But she is definitely qualified to be a bartender, I can say. And she made the drinks, she brought cups. She br really prepared for this. She really prepared for this. And she was making this drink with the uh, Jamaican juice and the coconut rum. Yeah, watch anime and drink, AKA, yeah. Let's see, did you fuck your second channel on her? Well, it's my first channel, it's my first channel. This is the second channel here. But anyway, uh, no, I did not. But that was not necessary, that's not necessary. Anyway, so she's making the drinks and yeah, it's, it's a good drink. I like how the thick Jamaican juice kind of like, it goes well at sort of masking the, the alcohol, but you can still taste it. So we were drinking and watching and let's see, the first thing we did, let's talk about the layout of the hotel. I know you guys care a lot. You guys really want to hear about the hotel. It's like, I'm sorry to disappoint, but I gotta, 
But you know, sometimes you gotta talk about stuff other than the hotel. Anyway, yeah, so like, it, this is the foot of the bed. The TV is like there, and like there was a bench in front. So at first we were sitting on the bench. But then she, then I said like, hey, let's get rid of the bench so we could sit on the bed. So then we were both sitting on the bed. And let's see, uh, let's see the different poses we had throughout the course of watching uh, the, the shows were like, she was sitting here, I was sitting to her right side, and like, like this, and like she was like leaning on me, and every now and then I would like put my arm around her or whatever. I don't really know what is like the sort of contact that people do. I don't really know what they do in terms of contacting. So, you know that, and at some point she just outright told me, you can touch me anywhere you want to. And yeah, so that is like definitely way more than a hint. That's basically a command. So, you know, then I started like, you know, putting my arm around her like waist or her butt. Yeah, and uh, it went like that. Eventually, let's see. I'm trying to think of like, we were in different configurations at different points. There was another point in time where we were like, let's see, she was like this. She was like this on the bed, just like, once again, still fully clothed, and we were all like just watching. She was like this, and I didn't want to get my shoes on the bed, so I was, I was actually, I was like this, watching the anime like this. So, like, she's like, her head is in that direction, so I'm like, so I just put my arm on her. Yeah. And she's like, clearly trying to like, maintain contact with me, like, if I like you sit back down, she'll scoot over to make sure that like we're maintaining contact. And so it's very clear that, you know, she was also like tr wanting to move things along as well. Yeah. Screw the shoes, man. Hello. A use a Oz all stars. We're getting a play by play boys. Yeah. And let's see at some point I'm trying to remember how this went. But yeah, the five shows that we eventually narrowed it down. We watched one episode of each show. We watched the first episode of Kawaii Complex. Then we watched the first episode. I don't even remember what order we watched them, but there was Kawaii Complex. There was uh, Seven Deadly Sins. And she was like trying to make an effort to, to remember every single one of the seven sins. And she couldn't remember, but that was okay. And then uh, there was... Uh, Assassin, the Assassin School classroom thing. Assassin Classroom, I think is what it's called. I don't even remember. And then there was, there was another anime. There was another anime, I forget what it was. There's the, the one with the two brothers. Um, Black Clover, Black Clover. So that's three. The fourth one, once again, these are not in order. There was also uh, some, yeah, Assassination Classroom. There was also, what's it called? Uh, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, Boko no Hero Academia. Obviously, obviously. And then the last one, once again, these are not in order. I'm just, last one for me to remember right now was, let me check it. It's gonna F for a moment while I check it. It was, haven't you heard I'm Sakamoto? So it was like, those were the five anime. So yeah, but I liked the, what's it called? I liked the, the Kawaii Complex one because it was the funniest. Uh, I couldn't actually follow it later on because it was all about characters after that. Normie anime? You say it's normie anime. Get get to the Yeah, I'm about to bust. Yeah, sorry Bjorn TV2. You're gonna have to I'm teasing you. Oh yeah, that's right. She was saying like she like like there were different times where like she would like have to get something from the refrigerator to she would have to get something from the mini fridge to make a drink and she would like She would like intentionally have her posture like this here. She would like, you know, intentionally be like that, you know, and like she might even like do this a few times. Like after a while, it got kind of over, and she was just like telling me, like I'm teasing you. Like I forget what she said, but she explicitly said I'm teasing you. Yeah. Anyway, yes. So let's see what what also happened. It's like it's difficult to tell this in chronological order if these details are coming to me it, at different times, but. Yeah. Let's see, at some point, like, she would, uh, while we were sitting, see, we went from sitting to, like, lying like this, 
fully clothed, but, and also, again, to sitting again, I don't even remember why, but, like, she would put her hand on my lap and things like that. Also, while main her also trying to maintain contact as well, and it was very clear that she was into that. Yeah. Let's see. Find out how funny, how she was initiating. Yeah. It is true. Did she call you Jimmy when she squirted? She did not, well, okay, uh, we're gonna try to get to that. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm not like trying to avoid the question by saying, oh, we'll get to it later, but like, I just want to try to make sure that everything's in chronological order because I just want to avoid jumping around, even though I'm already jumping around. But yeah, and yes, and cool. Anyway, stop beating around the bush. I'm trying to remember all the things that happened, but I'm having trouble doing that. At some point, uh, we just started making out. I think it was in the... Uh, yeah, it was in the sitting position. At some point, we just started making out. It was during Kawaii Complex. It was during Kawaii Complex, and we were doing that. And then we moved to lying down, still fully clothed on the bed, still making out. And then I asked her, like, how am I going to remove your top? So that is, that is me initiating that. And she said, oh, I'll just, I'll just take it off. And then I said, oh, I'll take off my shirt too. Okay, that, that makes it sound kind of weird, but no, it was, it was actually a lot more natural than I make it sound like it sounds like it's like step one step two step three but no that was how that went and see she was wearing a bra and yeah she said she said that i have a beautiful body i just responded by saying you have a beautiful body too but yeah that's that <laughs> someone's jared j says just take it off school night says smooth asmr thank you thank you she actually okay no that's I'm not going to remember all these things that I'm like trying to sort in time. I'm like trying to sort these and I'm not going to remember these things that also happened. But yeah, so what eventually happened gradually was that over the course of like three hours maybe, or maybe two hours, I don't even remember, we were just taking more and more off until eventually we were cuddling uh, on the bed, watching the anime uh, in, in just underwear. I'm, I'm wearing boxer briefs because I feel confident in them. These gray boxer briefs, but I'm not gonna show them because that's not necessary. Yeah. But I forget how it eventually happened. Oh yeah, I feel weird describing this because I just, I don't know, it feels like, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little too giddy, I'm a little too, <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, eventually, Eventually we were spooning. That's right. That's what happened. We were spooning in underwear. It, I remember it was like facing in this direction and she was here or no, it was, it was like, it was like, it was like this. So the TV's there. And so we were like spooning. It's a kind of opposite. And I remember she brought the pillows there and we're spooning and watching the anime like that, like that. And I'm just wearing boxer briefs and she's just wearing, uh, her bra and panties, and we're spooning, so a lot of skin contact, a lot of skin contact. And eventually, she starts feeling my underwear, you know, in the front center region. Yeah, and uh, she asks me, can I, f let's see, is the orientation locked right now? This should be fine, yeah. She asks, can I feel under your underwear? And I say yes. I mean, it was a very difficult question. It was a very difficult decision. But yeah. Lamau, she has game. Yeah, she does. She does. Once again, she's six years older than I am. I'm 21. She's 27. So, it's good that, that I don't, you know, have all the responsibility. You know, it's a, it's a modern world, you know, what we're talking about. Yeah. Anyway, so let's see. What's chat saying? The almost medical description of this guy are hilarious. It's like a Michael Sarah movie. Someone says, please stop. Someone says, my boy's in love. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, D thank you, Mr. Dindu, or yeah, whatever. Uh, what was she wearing? It was, it was a kind of rigid bra. It was a rigid bra. So it was probably like padded, but that doesn't, that doesn't bother me. But yeah, it was, it was lace, yeah. Hurry up, I gotta go out to eat. Hello, little boomer. How you doing? Yeah, 
It's gonna stay in Atlanta. No, I know I'm leaving tomorrow. Actually, I'm flying out tomorrow. Next time you bang a girl, next time you bang a girl stream at Chatterbait. Thank you for that gamer pool. Thank you. Yeah. Someone says yeah. Hurry up. So anyway, yeah. So she, and eventually I just say, you know what? I'm taking off my underwear, and she says that she'll do that too. So then we're uh, let's see. I forget how it went, but eventually. Eventually, she's sucking my dick. I for, yeah, I forget how, how how that like transitioned. I'm trying to remember. But yeah, she. Lady Killer K pop. If he sees this Lamau, says Magical Peanut. No one get a uh, Hello King by default. That's good. He has schizophrenia, guys. Don't worry, he's still our virgin shrill otter. Did you murmur murmur on her? That's a good Burger Planet reference. Yeah. Jason R says, Good job, man. Thank you, Jason R. Zone 6, though. Yee hee, hella happy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tracksuit Andy. She was throwing the blank at you for three hours till she. All right, hold on. I'm gonna stream on an iPhone because my, because my, S nine plus is broken. Like it doesn't receive tech, touch inputs, and the touch inputs that it does receive are like phantom ones that I didn't that like you know just come come out of nowhere. So let me let me re respond to that. But yeah, uh, she's really good at that. She like, I was like telling that to her like oh I'm saying oh you're good at this, and she said that she read a book like she actually like reads books about sex and like how to do it right which i think is a good investment so i think i i should like also invest in that as well get the note 9 i should do that yeah i'm i'm surprised how how much people are only using the note 8 so i'm gonna i'm gonna step it up and get the note 9 log in with youtube reads book in 2018 by the way oh yeah she's scholarly learn ned book on sex what a pro yeah Anyway, so that's how that went. <coughs> mm. I thought I would be really fast. I thought, like, I was afraid I was going to be really fast, but it was just, like, it didn't, like, get me any closer to finishing. It just, like, it was like a massage is what it, like, it reminded me of. But, yeah, thank you, Tracksuit Andy, for that. Once again, she was throwing the pussy at you for three hours until she closed the deal. Lol, nice. At least she closed the deal. I just had to script me losing mine. Still a virgin, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Tracksuit Andy. <laughs> Thank you, Tracksuit Andy. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it, honestly. But anyway. No, no, it was not with a condom. So, Martin Conta gets banned, says condoms make it take way longer. Yeah, no, it was, it was without a condom. And she was, she was very good. Like, she was doing all these different routines is how I would describe it. I don't know. Tracks to Andy Poggers, I scripted exposed. Kuwait Andy wishes it was him instead of the girl. Oh, my Tommy, are you here? Yeah, my Tommy is not Kuwait Andy, his name is Ali. And once again, I really have to thank Ali. There's, if you go to the Shrill Otter Reddit, r slash Shrill Otter, you can see an appreciation thread which is very much more than well-deserved because it's because of him. That, like I've been doing all this stuff. Like it's the, he's the reason that I even went to Atlanta. I was just gonna, if I if he weren't there, I would just be I would already be, be back in LA and I would be have spending only like three days in Auburn, Alabama. But Atlanta is so much better. Atlanta is so much better. It is better and it's like more interesting. And also, uh, not like, not like there's like actually Asian people here. But that's not really relevant. Uh, what I mean is that I feel a lot less out of place than in Alabama. But yeah, here, let's check out uh, Shrill Otter. Or slash Shrill Otter. Because this appreciation thread is more than well deserved. There we go. Alley appreciation thread for taking Shrill to Atlanta, when he, where he has good content and action with girls. The city where you lost your V-card poggers. Thank you, Jerry J. That is a good That is. Sharina says, you left your tissue in my car. Uh, I'll respond to that after the stream. Yeah, yeah, her name is Sharina. Yeah, or Rina for short. You make her orgasm. That's a good question that I'm gonna try to make, uh, I'm gonna try to make, uh, what's it called? Uh, 
you know, in order, in terms of time, chronological. So, man, I'm going to forget all these questions. But yeah, so she is uh, doing all these routines or, you know, she's doing everything. And eventually she... Oh yeah, then I asked her, can I, can I eat you out because you've done such a good job or, you know, or whatever. I, don't, I didn't say that, but it was kind of like along the same lines as that. Like, you know, I want to reciprocate. And she says, no, I'm, like, she's like, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed by my vagina is what she says. Something like that along those lines. I don't really know why, but it's very clear that she, like, doesn't really, really, like, she says, like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. I'm like, I'm kind of like, no, I really got to reciprocate. You know, I want to, I want to do that. I don't have, uh, just a fair warning. I don't have a lot of experience, but I want to like, at least give it a try. You know, I want to have more experience. And she says, no, so we don't do that. And she says, did you bring a condom? And of course I did. So uh, I have her put it on. I go and get it. And I have her put it on because that's what someone told me I should do. I should have her put it on because if I put it on myself, apparently it's just going to shrivel up inside the condom and it's not going to be good. Yeah. Giving it a tree, tree, try is better than nothing. Thank you, uh, Maiden Max. Good. It's gross. I don't, once again, I don't see, I just don't think it's right that people don't do that. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it just seems kind of like asymmetrical it seems kind of one-sided in my opinion i just don't see why people would not do that like if it's supposed to be like a t it's supposed to be like a two-way street in my opinion i don't know but that's just my opinion once again previously a virgin doesn't even really matter right but i just i don't see why not yeah anyway yeah and i think once again i'm not speaking from experience but i just think that i don't really see why you wouldn't unless you were selfish or something. I don't know. But anyway, was she bullied to go home? No, she was not. So that's one thing I'll answer right now. And yeah, so she puts it on with her mouth. She puts it on with her mouth. She's like, oh, this column doesn't taste good. So that's fine. That's fine. But yeah, so I forget what the first position we did was. It was, oh yeah, it was missionary. And, I don't know, I felt like it was so arbitrary, like, the thrusting motion. Like, I don't really, there's, like, so many parameters or whatever. It's, like, there's, a, but eventually, like, and, like, the one that she liked, she was like, oh, do it like that. You know, oh, that was good. Uh, you should keep doing it like that. I just felt like I wasn't really moving that much. I felt like I was just sort of, like, just, like, randomly moving or whatever. You know, there wasn't, like, much motion there, so... I guess in the movies, they try to like amp it up, exaggerate it so that it's like more visible, but it really does not need to be that exaggerated, I guess. I guess they amp it up for the camera because nothing really shows up on camera. Yeah. <laughs> LMFAO, please reenact all the motion again, please. Yeah. How many inches are you? Uh, yeah. Flop like a fish. Yeah, that's what I felt like I was doing. I felt like I was just like flopping like a fish. Yeah, that's just porn dogs in the movies. So-and-so says, I'm dying. Yeah. Anyway, yes. And eventually she orgasms, which she explicitly stated. So I'm not just guessing, I'm not just guessing. But I didn't just because I guess like it's it's a condom, so you don't really feel it as much as otherwise. But uh, yeah, and then she and then we, then we change positions to doggy style, which is like a lot more visual. Oh yeah, I was gonna say about the whole missionary thing is that like I'm a lot taller than she is, so it also felt weird. I also felt like I was doing like the like the plank position. Like that's not really that. In, like her head is like down here it just like felt weird her, like the top of her head is here so her head is like here and it's just like it's just such an awkward position is what it felt like yeah hot lanta's waiting yeah she all right thank you ain't nothing but uh yeah anyway yeah should have you should hard thrusted her 
Bang, bang. What brand mattress and blanket did you use? I do not know. I, yeah. Anyway, so that was that. And then we switched positions to, to doggy style is what it's called, I believe. And I was afraid like she was going to break something because there was so much mass. It was like, is <laughs> what it felt like. I don't know. It was like, I was afraid because I, I like, I slipped out once. And then she was like, oh, we'll put it back in. And like, I just like, I was afraid, like, there was just so much mass there. I was afraid I was gonna, like, gonna slip out accidentally and break something. So I didn't want to like, make the motion to like, have too much, uh, what's it called, you know? Let's see, a wave. Let's see, a wave has a uh, frequency and an amplitude. I didn't want too much amplitude to this motion. So, but that was fine. And it felt a lot better too. So that was when I came and, oh, I remember, I remember what she said. I remember she said like, bring that mushroom tip or something like that, you know? You know, squeeze the kegel muscle is what, like I imagined it was, yeah. So <laughs> that was like a weird phrase to hear. Like, like do that mushroom tip or something like that. That was like surprising. And like, she clearly responded. She was like, oh, that's so much better. And yeah, was she black? Yes, she was black. Uh, did you pee afterward? Yeah, I did. Late at an anime convention? Well, it wasn't at an anime convention. And she drove from her home, so she lives near Atlanta. But anyway, yeah. Craigasm, that's that's a Twitch emote, I know. Yeah, that mushroom tip a lol. But yeah, that's how that went. I didn't do any spanking. I didn't do any spanking. Thank you, Mr. Nuffin. But yeah, anyway, that's how that went. And that was when I came. And immediately I told her, I'm ready. I'm totally down for a second round. I was actually like, like people always talk about like when the man comes, it's like, it's embarrassing, it's shameful and it's awkward, but I didn't experience a single awkward moment during the entire, during the entire time we were in the hotel room. Like that's one thing that I'm like realizing now, right? Like from, I'm realizing now afterward is that there wasn't a single awkward moment. It's probably because we were drunk. I don't know, but that's like. Didn't, didn't happen at all. Yeah. Pretty good for a first time. Yeah. And anyway, after that, then we got back to watching the anime, but this time both naked this time. And so we were just, uh, spooning. Yeah. But yeah, she says like, she was kind of like, she was pleasantly surprised apparently, uh, when I said I'm down for a second round. So that's why. Lamal your title. <laughs> it's a good title. It's an accurate title. It's not. It's not a lie, and I think it summarizes things very well. And yeah, so that was that. Uh, and so then we continued watching. I think then we were watching, what's it called? We were watching Black Clover. We were watching Black Clover. It was like, I remember seeing like the flashback to her like 10 years ago when they were five years old. And there's, what's his name? The, the white haired guy and the black haired guy. Uh, I don't even remember their names, but. I know the the main character, you know, the short guy, is very similar to Midoriya from Boko no Hero Academia, just because they don't both, they're both like very feisty and they're short and they have like poofy, spiky hair and they also have a similar voice actor, for, at least for the dubs, because we watch the dubs and they also can't do magic. So I feel like they're a little too similar and they also come in the same time period too. Did you do anal at least? No, we did not. But, you know, why run when you the first time walking, right? Black Clover isn't too bad. Uh, let's see. Black Clover's animation is really... I don't know. I don't know about that. I didn't really notice that too much. I didn't really notice the animation being bad. I mean, like... Yeah. Anyway. Let's go on here. Rising up the ranks of those CX virgins. Thank you, Warzel. Okay. Thank you for that. But let's see. Is she coming back for seconds tonight? Well, she said that, like... She wants to stay in contact. Okay, I gotta make this chronological, but I know that just means I'm gonna miss things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like push them back and then I'm gonna forget them. But yeah, she says she wants to stay in contact. She says that she's coming to Chicago. Ness is in Chicago. Uh, Amber from two days ago is also going to be in Chicago for Halloween. Uh, and Sharina from today is moving to an hour away from Chicago. So. Gotta go to Chicago. Yeah. 
But anyway, yeah, she says that she wants to stay in contact. Like, she she says that, like, it's she's like, feels sad that, like, friends don't stay in contact. She has so many long distance friends, and a lot of them don't really respond to her texts. So, I definitely want to do that. I want to stay in contact. But, yeah, so we're watching, we're spooning. We both don't have any clothes on, and we're watching Black Clover. And let's see, that goes on for a good while. Uh, she says that I have a very good looking penis. She says that I'm attractive, uh, have a good personality. Okay, no, okay, I, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't wanna say that, but like, that's like notable to me just because like, I don't know, I just, it was such a compliment. It's the biggest compliment I probably ever received. Yeah. But anyway, and she says that it's like the perfect. Thank you, Dango Man, for the two dollars. Congrats, my boy. Thank you, thank you. Probably shouldn't say all this on stream. Relax, brother. Okay, you know what? That's a good point. Yeah, but no, it's just like it's just like I've never really gotten a compliment like that. So it just I don't know. It just felt really memorable to me. Yeah, if it looks so good, why don't you show us? Thank you, little boomer. <laughs> Thank you, little boomer. But anyway, yeah. Eventually, we're back at it. Uh, I forget why. I forget how. I forget when. Uh, but yeah, we didn't. We didn't drink anymore after, after we undressed. But that was it. See what's happening here? Where did you shoot in the condom? But yeah, that was that. I have to say, uh, the experience in, let's see. And then the last position we did was like missionary, but she was upside down or like, it was like doggy style, but instead of her bent like that, it was just flat. And I didn't really like it that much. It was, it was all right, but you know, it's good to try different positions. Cause now I know what they're like, but that's how it was. She sure was he, bl she black, she was. Yeah. Uh, I met her on stream. My stream from yesterday at the anime convention was how I ran into her. I was just like, Oh, I like your shirt. And then we just got into conversation. I thought you said you didn't use a condom. No, I did. I did. Yeah. Have you thanked us for you, you losing your virginity too? Because you almost ruined it last night, you baka. Thank you, WASD. Are you talking about when you, when you guys asked, told me to kiss her? <coughs> I guess so. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys though. Yeah. Was she tight? I really do not know. I really do not know. I know at some point she was like doing the kegel thing. And it was actually, it was actually better. It was great. Christian Montage is, oh no. But anyway, yeah, sorry, sorry about that uh, Christian Montage. But uh, let's see, uh, let's try to remember. Uh, uh, there was something uh, going on that I was gonna say. I don't even remember, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, Baka equals idiot in Japanese. Thank you for that, Fresh Greens. But that was it. And she also drove me back to the hotel for free. She's an Uber driver and she gave me an Uber drive for free, except it wasn't through Uber, it was under the table. I think that's how that went. I'm trying to remember other details. I think I've gone through all the chronological things, so now I'll just do Q and A because, because uh, I don't really remember anything else. So, yeah. So, because I feel bad that I was like saying, "Oh, I'll mention that later." Oh, I'll answer that later, and I probably didn't answer a single one of them. So, that's good. Good to have gone through it once chronologically. Probably missing a lot of details, but now, now uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Tell me how you clapped them cheeks. Uh. Call Iris, she's jealous. Well, Iris is far away and we only had one date. That was also on Tinder and that was also on stream, man. But yeah, Let's see, Kristen, Kristen wishes it was her K-pop. Uh, that's, that's a good point, that's a good point. Explain body hair. Oh yeah, I shaved entirely. I feel good when I shave. Like it makes me feel like a statue or something. Like it just like with hair there. You also feel more if like you're shaved because there's no hair in the way. That's how I feel. I and mean, I just, I just like being 100% shaved. That's, that's the way I prefer it. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to find my battery. Where did it go? Where's my battery at? I think I know where it might be. I want to plug into my USB battery. I'm trying to find it. Anyway, what about the goth thought? Oh, she did not respond. I actually tried calling her uh, Sunday morning and she did not respond. Uh, one of my mods tried calling her from a different phone that we both know was not blocked and 
he said like, yo, what happened to you and my boy? And she hung up immediately. So apparently something fouled the waters. Apparently when I leaked her number, uh, I guess, I guess someone had something to say that definitely uh, turned her off of that. And you know, it's probably for the better. It's probably for the better, you know? Just because, you know, once again, that was really bad. He leaked your number, just like scrolling through all the messages on Tinder and her, her number was like the last message from her. When I was scrolling through all the different conversations, her number was the last one. So it just showed up as I was scrolling. That was a bad mistake. Give me her number so I can try and... Thank you, little Boomer. Give me her number so I can try and get it. Yeah. This is a very scary uh, balcony. It's very, very narrow. It's like, I would say one and a half feet is how big this balcony is in this direction. Anyway, meeting girls IRL is better than Tinder. I agree. And that is how I... That's how I met both Amber and uh, Sharina today. Amber was not at the anime convention. A Amber was when I was just walking out of Ponce Market. That was on stream too. That was when I walked out of Ponce City Market and and I saw the fire truck and I think she was just like, oh, what is that? And like, just like meeting someone on the street and, and then her giving me a beach blow job less than like, less than 30 hours later is definitely like, pretty unusual. I would say the streaming thing is definitely changing my life. It's a little bit, I think it's a little bit extreme, but I think we'll definitely not uh, make it to clout. I wouldn't say clout because I did not mention, both of them didn't really seem to care much about the stream. Probably for the better because that let me continue the stream when I was with them. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, and like I didn't mention my, or like they didn't really seem to care about the animation channel. so. I didn't, I didn't even bring it up to, uh, to Sharina. So I think it's clear that it doesn't really have too much to do with cloud. Yeah. Remember not to lose your K-pop roots and become corrupt or floozy stay pure. Thank you, WASD. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's uh, great to know that it doesn't really have anything to do with numbers or money or cloud and stuff. It, it I don't know. It's like, I don't know, it's inspiring or something. K-pop, do not jump. That's a good one. I should, should not jump. I can, however, stick the phone over the edge like that. I can do that. What's the name of your anime channel? Uh, yeah. Anyway, so that is that. And yeah, so I leave this hotel tomorrow. So I ch ch check out is tomorrow morning. Anyway, so he was playing saxophone yesterday. I don't know what he's up to now. He's clearly in there. I mean, he's probably going to see me. It's all blown out, that's unfortunate, but there's him. I think he's still playing saxophone. Or no, he's playing some sort of woodwind wind instrument. Oh, he's playing a flute, I think. So he's playing the flute or something. Yeah, anyway. Keeping talking, well, he has, the win he has the windows completely open. He has no shades or blinds or anything. He's just, he's just right there. But you know, he's not doing anything controversial or whatever. Stalking Andy, <laughs> no. I guess so. Peeping Andy, what it do without doing it? Yeah, I didn't even like, I, let's see. So yeah, the way that I met with Amber was just like, I think she even came to me or she like asked me like, what even is that? And I was just like, oh, I don't know what that is. Like, that's pretty scary. Oh, uh, what are you up to? She said, I'm watching a movie. And she's like, oh, can I watch the movie with you? And then that's how that went. Where are my tissues at? Well, I know I left some of my tissues at in Shereen's car. Anyway, yes, ooh, uh, yeah. That scene needs a new phone? Oh, yeah, I heard about that, I heard about that. Anyway, it was not Netflix. We watched it on Crunchyroll, I think, or no, we watched it like illegally, you know, the, the website way, but apparently that's how everyone does it, so whatever. Yeah, that's what's happening now. And yeah, so that was, that's the story. I'm trying to remember what other details there were with that, but yeah, I guess I'm not a virgin anymore. That's, that's, uh, news, that's news, so there we go. Yeah, anyway, yeah, sponsored by Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll, okay, yeah. What a successful trip, I guess so. It's like life experience. I'm like now living the 20-something lifestyle that 
like people talk about like oh one night stands and stuff Ooh. although you know that's it i don't know i don't know if it's really my thing but yeah that's it it's good because that's sort of i think for a lot of people maybe like a lot of young men who are on the internet and like are into anime or you know other nerdy things you know uh or you know don't really socialize too much which includes me i think a lot of people are very hung up or you know are, they're bothered by the fact that uh they you know are not sexually active and i guess this has been like a journey for me because it sort of demystifies the whole thing it reminds me you that like anyone can find love etc anybody can find love etc and eventually you know just don't lose hope and don't get caught in a negative spiral is what i have to say i don't know andrew didn't count <laughs> andrew did not count andrew did not count no i know it's on i think it's on the subreddit or something i don't know the screen cap of me and andrew kissing yeah unless you got the experience she's probably in this chat all i have to do is leave your house yeah hello owen oak yeah sex equals love no it doesn't no it doesn't but what i mean is like i'm just trying to generalize trying to generalize the statement but what i just mean is that like meeting people sometimes maybe it's not as it's not as set in stone as some people might think you know if we're talking about the whole incel thing i don't know you should have filmed it for content <laughs> that would have been a good idea Sure doesn't know what love is, yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I know that that's not love. I know that's not love. But I'm just like, I was just like trying to generalize it, but. <laughs> I was asking if he told her if he was a virgin, not that if he was a virgin. Yeah, I did not tell her I was a virgin, but she never asked. And I just felt like that would have made it more awkward. I don't know. How happy are you, one to 10? I would say I'm like more for fulfilled than anything. Like, I felt like, sex was like the final frontier or whatever i don't know i felt like just because i had never had it before it just like i i think this experience like demystified it and like it's just i don't know I, i'm still trying to collect my thoughts is, is what i also mean to say i'm already bad at wording things but this is another level final frontier <laughs> yeah how was the smells? Uh, she definitely had not the cleanest hair smell, but that's, uh, it makes sense because I know that braids are really hard to maintain and clean. And also natural oils will always have a smell. Like, like it's not good to shampoo every day anyway, just because you want to preserve the natural oils. And so that's fine. K-pop Annie going to what it do girls left and right now? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We'll see, we'll have to see. <laughs> nauseous emoji, LFAO, nauseous emoji, LOL, vomiting emoji. Uh, nauseous emoji times three, she dirty dance game, <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you have sex more than once? Uh, yeah, Khalil, uh, yeah, so during our time in the hotel room, we did have sex more than once. First time was missionary, then it was doggy style. Then we watched some more anime. And then we did, uh, like, doggy style, but flat, I guess, is how I describe it. I don't know. But yeah, she is very good with the whole fellatio thing, is what I would say. Like, that's, that's definitely a skill. She was like level 99 or whatever, I don't know. Level 90. I'll leave some room, I'll leave some room. Did the carpet match the drapes? Oh, uh, no, who, I don't know who would possibly like bleach or, or dye their pubic hair, but yeah. Yeah, no, her hair was good, but like dyeing and bleaching sort of fries your hair enough that you probably want to protect the natural oils. I don't know why you guys are like putting all these green face emojis and all, all the vomiting emojis and the dance game and all that. Yeah. Doggy style flat is called forking. Okay, it was forking then. It's forking. Orcs. Yeah. Tell us she didn't succeed through a condom for God's sakes. What was that? Oh, no, yeah, no, she did. Yeah, this time was not with a condom. Yeah, Amber uh, did it with a condom. She probably thought I had all sorts of diseases. Uh, <coughs> I don't have diseases. Uh, 
But yeah, it's definitely a lot better without a uh, combo. Yeah. Uh, isn't this the girl you went to the bar with? Uh, no, no, that was that was Amber. That was Amber. And yeah, we went to bars on two consecutive nights. The first night I did not make a move when, we, when I brought her to this hotel room. I did not make a move because, you know, I didn't want to make her uncomfortable, but like, she, like, yeah. So it was definitely different with Amber. I definitely had a much better time with uh, Sharina. Like I would, like I want to hang out with Sharina more and she says that she wants to hang out with me more too. Uh, just because she's a lot of fun to be around. Like I, I don't feel uncomfortable around her. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like she's down to take risks. I agree. Good thing you didn't try, keep trying with her. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that. So she says that she, uh, she's from LA, I think. I don't know, but she moved to, to Atlanta, and she says that she wants to visit LA, and that she's going to be moving to a city that's like an hour away from Chicago. Like pretty soon apparently and i know ness lives in chicago and i know that amber is going to be visiting chicago uh, a few days before halloween so maybe i should go to chicago a few days before, before halloween i don't know i don't know you two vibe really well together yeah i think so i think so uh she's six years older than me and even still we don't really have that much of a like gap or an awkward barrier <coughs> between us yeah she told me that she has, uh, let's see, eczema. I think it's what she has, eczema. So she doesn't feel confident in her skin, but I, I think she is good skin. She is, apparently she has eczema and anema. And so, or I think that's how it's pronounced, anema. So she gets cold really easily is what I remember. But yeah. But yeah, thank you. Uh, I don't know why I brought that up. Just like, I'm just trying to remember different details and just trying to mention them at different times. I'm so proud of you, bro. Thank you, one of the three N. Joliet or uh, uh, Joliet, Joliet is an hour away from Chicago. Can you probably can have my sister? Thank you, Maiden Max. Thank you, Maiden Max. Yeah. Song requests. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the song requests. Uh, this is just on, on an iPhone, so apparently, so Nightbot is gonna work. <laughs> I've been seeing song requests over the past few days. You know, Nightbot song requests, and uh, apparently that's um, unfortunately that's. Uh, not been a thing for so many past days, but that's that. Uh, man, everybody's got something nowadays. Good thing you didn't keep trying with her. Oh, you're talking about Amber. Yeah, I agree. I just, Amber made me uncomfortable just because it wasn't a very mutual experience. Like she, I just, I don't know. She just seemed kind of, she made me uncomfortable just because she didn't really seem to be having fun with it. And I have to say that like, that is probably what it comes, that's probably like the biggest difference is that I could tell that it was like very mutual with uh, Sharina, so that just makes me feel a lot better. And like, that makes me like, feel so much better about the experience. Yeah. Sucking with condom, ew. Yeah, that was, that was Amber uh, from a couple days ago. Yeah, you gotta get flavored condoms. I do, actually Sharina mentioned that to me, is that like, the only condoms that don't taste bad are the flavored ones, so I definitely wanna get that. So now I know, now I know. You two vibe together well. I agree. Oh, wait, hold on. That's, that, uh, that's, that's back in the chat. But yeah. See, so, let scroll down to the to the most recent one. Was she naked during the suck? Uh, yeah, she was. She was. Yeah. Apparently, she feels very self-conscious about her boobs. She says that they change size so much naturally just because of the birth control she's on. Like, she says she'll go from a size... She said, like, oh, right now they're a B. Sometimes they'll go to a D. And she was talking about how, like, her mother will be like, what happened? Did you get a boob job or something? And she said, no, it's just from the birth control that I take. And that's, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, why was this my recommended? Hello, Churro Man, NSW. I'm just having a very monologue chat right now. Just, like, recollecting my thoughts. Yeah. It's 1,000 XP to you on that side quest. Now, what's next? Thank you, one of the three N. How are you streaming for... Oh, well right now I'm streaming from my iPhone. But yeah, once I get to Minneapolis, I want to take my S9 Plus to a repair shop. I don't need to buy a whole new phone, obviously. Like I thought, I remember like on the day that I realized it was broken. That was with Amber, the second day with Amber, I remember when we went to the very Confederate museum. It was like not what I was expecting. It definitely did not really want to be there with Amber. It was like very like, 
like take a look into this very servant based lifestyle at the mansion it's not servant based but anyway yeah servant based no very i don't know whitewashed is a good word for that yeah that was when i realized that my s9 plus was broken and i was like oh i'm ending the stream just because it was like not responding to any of my touches it was having all of these like haunted touches all these phantom touches that were not anything like the side menu kept coming up as if a ghost was using my phone so i want to take my phone to repair take my s9 plus to a repair shop when you get to minneapolis either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow this guy here you got it in with the black anime chick that is true ultraviolet end yeah yeah that is what happened and now i can say i'm not a virgin anymore anyway yeah amber was hot but she didn't provide much conversation well i don't know if she really has to like yeah yeah that makes sense yeah that's, that's true matt v yeah amber crying right now you coming to minneapolis that's where i live a little floss tycoon get in the discord get in the shrill otter discord and yeah anyone who's near minneapolis or in minneapolis let's Let's get some sniping going, or like, or, uh, well, I mean, we're on a balcony. Talk about sniping, but yeah, no. Uh, let's get some. Let's 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 meet up. Let's meet up while I'm streaming, or maybe when I'm not streaming. I don't know. I mean, if I'm not streaming, I'm probably in like a hotel room or something. I don't know. But uh, <coughs> let's meet meet up again. The Street Water Discord. I think the link should be in the description of the stream right now. And yeah, because right now, if you just type it in chat, it's probably I'm probably gonna forget it. I'm almost certainly gonna forget it. So let's get in the Discord. Maybe plan something out or maybe just show up maybe if you like know where i am and when i'm streaming we can just you can just stream snipe and you can stick around of course i feel like oh, when a lot of people are stream sniping i feel like what a lot of the stream snipers i've had so far they're like can i join you is it possible for me to join you i don't want to bother you but no like i i have i guess maybe i have just so little confidence in my streaming ability that like i'm like no why would you not want why would i possibly not want you to stick around you're like a friend and i am in need of friends and so you will give me that friend experience that fe and uh that is something that i want because then you will be able to do things because i feel like it sometimes takes a lot of energy to like do things on a stream and so you know we can you will like provide me with stuff so i feel like i feel honored when you show up that is like that is how I feel. So, so don't feel bad about sniping. Can I stream your snipe? Uh, yeah. What race of girls do you like? Seems like black girls keep coming your way. I don't know if I would put it down to race, but I guess I do like black girls. That's how you will say. I only snipe Snail Boy 808 from now on camera is getting one else. I like that. Come to NYC, I agree. NYC would be a good place to go. There's so much history, so much different stuff. Yeah, hello Frieza, good to see you. How was it, my dude? It was good. Like, honestly, like, just because it was like so mutual, like there was not a single awkward moment. Like, it was just like a lot of fun between both of us, which is like what I'm so happy about. Now, like, after, like it's, it happened so recently that like my brain is all jumbled. I'm trying to put together my thoughts, but I'm just like really glad that it was like fun for both of us. Yeah. And also, she is really good at sucking dick. <laughs> All right, I'm going back inside. Yeah, so like she told me that like she has a book. She bought a book about sex. And so she like, I want to do that too because I don't want to, because I want to provide as well. I want to be good at that. You know, I want it. I just, you know, I, I want to provide something. But yeah. We told you she'd be good. Thank you, Dragonologist. Yeah. Still proud of you. Thank you, Ultraviolet. K-pop, she's an overachiever because all she does, all right, is succeed. Oh, so, oh, all she does is succeed. All right, yeah, I like that. Thank you, Maiden Max. Chocolate says, fellatio expert in all caps with spaces between the letters. Hey, K-pop, Benny. Hello, Sir Flash. How's it going? It's going well, it's going well. K-pop, swining eight inches confirmed. Hello, Joe. Matt he says, soul eater. Let's see, this is a damp tissue. I feel like damp tissues like damage the skin here more. My skin around here is already very damaged repeatedly, just from like blowing into tissues. But like when it's damp, you have to press harder, so it's like more abrasive. But anyway, that's the quality hotel in Atlanta. It, it could be. But anyway, 
Yeah, I'm taking off tomorrow morning. That is checkout time. Also, uh, we also, I forgot to mention that we got Uber Eats. She has, she's, she's an Uber driver and she's never gotten Uber Eats before. So we got Uber Eats, which reminds me of Elixir. Elixir should have been there. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I got Uber Eats. I really like Elixir's videos in general and, and Elixir's video about Uber Eats. Like he's just, he's just so, he feels like so effortlessly funny and, and like, I don't know, I just like, I admire, I aspire to be like him. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, so this is, uh, this was, it was not Cajun food, it was some, Jamaican food, right. It was very spicy. Apparently, so she's very good at holding her liquor. She was impressed by my ability to handle the spice of this chicken. Let's see this. I can't remove the bag entirely because... <coughs> Let's see, oh man, exposure is not too good. Did you use a condom? Yeah, not when... Oh I, oh, I didn't even need to get a fork. I was gonna use flossers. I was gonna use flossers as utensils. I had already planned on doing that. I was trying to get a, I was trying to get a fork from the front desk, but uh, the, like from the breakfast area, but they take those inside when they're not offering breakfast. But yeah, no, I was gonna use, where is it at? I was gonna use these as utensils. I'm glad I don't have to. I'm glad I really don't have to because that would have been pretty difficult. Did she know you were a virgin? Actually, she did not. I just felt like that would have been kind of awkward to bring up. I don't know. Don't be in that love trap, dude. Be safe. Thank you, Kuwai Luis. Uh, yeah. Is she Jamaican? She looks a lot like this chick I knew in Miami who was. She said that she's like part Jamaican, part uh, Congo. No, part uh, French. Was it? Uh, I forget. It's one of those French occupied countries. I don't remember. Uh, and also part like Navajo, I don't remember, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, Skype call says, dude, nice, thank you. Hey, don't be a love chapter, be safe. Jerk chicken is pogger, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Jerk chicken, that's exactly it. So we got it from a nearby Atlanta. Oh man, I gotta get a new tripod because this one of the legs does not hold as well as the others, and so because of that, it's just really, really bad. Let's see if I can put this in there. There, oh no, never mind. There, perfect. Yeah. She's black, Cameroon. I don't think it was Cameroon, but yeah. Oh man, the exposure is terrible, terrible exposure. But if I had the S9 Plus, this would look really good. Like, you already know that the S9 Plus is really flattering to food. Did you yell, did you tell her she was Jamaican, you, uh, she was Jamaican, you horn. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Law Club. Or she was straight Haitian, or was she straight Haitian? I don't know, but yeah. This spicy chicken is so good. I guess it was too spicy for her or something, but I don't know. Here, rice, that's familiar. You look nasty, but I eat it. No, it's the unflattering camera. You'd be surprised how, how, how much, like, the way you capture something makes it look. But, I mean, I guess that's kind of the story of every IRL streamer or every video maker. Is that the only impression you get is from how it was captured. Yeah. What happened to the other black chick? Uh, and actually, we didn't end off on bad terms at all. But I just felt like it was really awkward and... I don't know. Actually, no, it wasn't awkward, but I just didn't feel like she enjoyed it at all. Because I didn't get to reciprocate or anything. She just... We went to a hotel room. And... Like, she didn't initiate anything, and that just made me feel really bad. I was always like, I, I always have to be like, can we make out? And she was like, I don't know. And, like, not, like, blaming her or anything, but I just, like, I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. With, with, uh, Sharina, you know, I felt like she was having fun. And it made me feel more comfortable. For the news, congrats. Thank you, Moss A. My food... Look like a hobo was sleeping on it. Here, there we go. This camera's a little bit better. Looks like you were dumpster timing OD. Yeah. It's really good, though. Can we make out a little? Well, yeah, better than kissing her without, like, knowing whether she actually wants to be kissed. 
Well, don't ask you. Do what you want to see if she rejects. All right, thank you, Dragonologist. I mean, I'm not the sex expert, so that's probably a good point. All right. What's the configuration? What's the configuration? Grr. This is making me very angry. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, it's fall. Oh, there we go. Very angle, very Dutch angle, huh? Was it with that black girl? Oh, I mean, they were both black, but... But yeah. So, the story with Amber. I guess, I don't remember if I told it, but I think I should tell it again anyway. Was that... We took an Uber to this hotel called Budgetel, and which I reserved for one night. We checked in, we went to the hotel room, and like, there was like nothing to do. It just felt so unnatural. And we just both sat on the bed fully clothed. I was just like, should we make out? And she's like, I don't know. And so I just start leaning into her. She's like, not really responding. I'm just like leaning into her. And then we start making out. And then I start like, it just felt so mechanical. And like, oh, now I touch her boob. As so I was doing that. And then she started leaning back a little bit. I was like, oh no, I should stop. But so, so then I backed off, but then she sort of like signaled for me to lie down on the bed. So then we lie down on the bed together next to each other. Once again, felt really mechanical and awkward. And so we're lying next to each other, fully clothed, making out. And then I'm like, then I ask her, can you take off your top? And so she takes it off. But I don't know. I don't really feel like continuing the story. I don't know. I just was up yeah it was awkward but there weren't any like bad moments like she seemed fine with the whole thing i just wasn't comfortable with it keep her going no carry on lol you know continues the story stop asking yeah so anyway uh so then i so then i'm now i'm feeling her boob without her top on and then I ask her can I feel under your skirt and she says no so I don't uh, then I ask her can I eat you out and she says no so I don't uh, I think she thought I had like infections or diseases anyway so then I said oh well then I'm gonna take off my shirt now and so she says okay and I do that I think, oh yeah, and then after, after I take my shirt, she says that I have a nice body, which made me feel good. Only asked if you're not sure, she was giving hella vibes, and you made out earlier. That's true. Well, bro, you gotta turn her on, don't ask, just do, I don't know if I agree with that, but, yeah. Polite lover, Andy. This is way better than I trying to fix vending machine. WTF no box eating? Yeah, once again. Okay, so I'll continue the story because I'm going to bring that up again with the no box eating. Uh, so then she asks if I have a condom and I say, yeah, I do. So I bring it out and I ask her to put it on. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned that I'm naked now, lying next to her. And so she puts it on. And she starts, she starts sucking my dick with that condom on. And it's good. It's all right. It's good. But once again, I just, I just don't feel comfortable. And we kind of just alternate between that and like, then lying down and make, making out and like me feeling her. She's not really doing anything. So once again, I just don't feel comfortable with that. And let's see. And I get some point I tell her like, like, can I eat you out? I feel bad that like, like, I don't know, that you're pleasuring me and I can't reciprocate. And she says, no, I'm pleasured. So I just felt bad just cause I felt like, almost like she was doing a service to me. She was just providing me a service. And I just, I just didn't really like that. Just cause. I mean, no, I like, no hard feelings toward her. I just like, I just don't think it worked out well. 
Dilly Doo says, you're gay, just admit, all right, all right, just admit, all right, thank you, Dilly Doo, but anyway, stop with the STD stuff, he does not have STDs, it would burn like fire when peeing, go get tested, for real, especially if you plan on getting some more, yeah, it's definitely a good idea to do STD tests, that's definitely a good idea, you gotta rub her clit, yeah, no, I asked her, um, can I feel under your dress, and she said no, dude, women don't see it the way you do, it's not a transaction for her, it's not all just about a nut, it's emotional. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. That's what I'm saying is that, like, I just didn't really feel any, I just, like, it just wasn't emotionally right, is how I felt. That's what I'm saying, because it felt like a transaction, I didn't, I didn't really like that. I don't know. I just didn't think it was right. Sure, just got out of work and missed the story. Oh. Uh. Yeah, so the story with today, with, sh with uh, Sharina is that uh, let's see let's see I'm gonna try to make it better like a summary we watched anime let's see I reserved a hotel room specifically for this event she showed up and when she made drinks for us with alcohol and juice that she brought we watched anime um, on the TV and uh, she sucked my dick without a condom and then we had sex in different positions with a condom and that was that and I really feel glad about that because it like it definitely was like both of us were having fun I feel like it was just good experience for everyone involved yeah you now holy shit proud of you thank you corny K did you listen to all right, thank you, Lock Lock. Was she an escort or a Tinder date? No, she was not an escort, and she was also not a Tinder date. I actually approached her at the anime convention. Yeah. But yeah, Amber approached me on the street. That was kind of, that was interesting. But I mean, like, I like, I like, I feel like maybe I'm exaggerating, like what I'm talking about with with Amber because I think. She was more similar to me, is what I mean, is one thing that I thought is that, like, I feel like we got along more. It's hard to tell from my point of view, but I felt... Actually, no, I think I got along with Amber as well as I did with Sharina. I don't know. Did you record it in private? No, I did not record it. Uh, made Mex says, go to more anime cons and... All right. I mean, that's like probably a good way to meet people with common interests, but I gotta know more about anime next time. Courtney Cage says, I know WTF, he did so much better without Tinder. Yeah. It's kind of, it's like heartening. It's heartening to hear that, you know, maybe we don't need technology. Maybe we don't need the whole, we don't need algorithms and numbers. Don't feel bad about getting a BJ. She wouldn't have done it if she didn't want to. She was trying to please you, let her. I like that. Thank you, Cody. That actually, that makes me feel a lot better. And that makes sense. A random chick you guys have a BF tonight, but I told her I would hang it to hook up and that I... All right. How put it? All right. Anyway, yeah. Okay. Anime fans, fetishized Asians, you have all the power at these places. Ooh. That, that is a good point. That makes sense. But once again, if... I feel like maybe if she, if she just... If people just fetishize me... It probably conversa pro conversations would probably not go along too well. Like it probably there would not be a very social aspect. So I think it has to work with the social aspect too. So I feel like it was all right. Yeah. Pineapple makes the semen taste better. Thank you, John Kawasaki. Was it the email oh, emo girl? No, the emo girl. I think one of the after I leaked her number, I think after I FaceTimed her, uh, she did not respond to any text or call and one of my mods actually called her say yo What happened with you and my boy and she hung up immediately and blocked the number So I think something something happened probably with someone who called her after I leaked her number. Yeah Was well, this title lol? It's true. It's true. Yeah, we seem easy to talk to. Thank you Courtney K I just get any aka incel Annie doesn't want to go to the survival stream ask ice to join Well, I'm so I'm think I think I'm gonna be out of town while that's happening. I don't know but I do want to go to Iceland with them. Like, I think... Yeah, because I'm going to... I want to go to Iceland with them and pay... 
you know, and of course cover my own expenses with the ticket and the food and the lodging. Like, that's something I want to do. Also, these are plantains, I think. Exposure is not very good. It's like blowing out. Why is this iPhone like blowing out the exposure? I guess for a late night walk. Mm. I think I want to take it easy. I want to be the least sick possible. The least sick possible. Did she say something like she doesn't meet many Asians who are into her? Yeah. I remember. You know, once again, you guys asked me to kiss her at the end. And that was definitely a good move. So I asked, like, should we do a goodbye kiss? Uh, yesterday. That was yesterday. Before she was about to take off from the convention. And she was, like, pleasantly surprised. She was like, oh, I get that option? That's what she said. So she said that, like, she was talking about how, yeah... Mo she said that like most Asian people she meets aren't into her at all. So I guess she was flattered. I don't know. Start working out, you'll get shredded. Well, I have been working out. I actually stopped working out since I started streaming. But I think since like November 2015 is when I've been working out. I used to work out like almost like without fault, like every two days. So I want to get back into it. Hmm. That seasoning is top tier. That is really... Oh, man. This camera is nowhere near as flattering as any of the other... What's the other camera? But this seasoning, it really is really spicy and it's top tier. Like, it's not just spicy, it's just really good. Jerk chicken, exactly. Love how you read every comment. It means a lot. Thank you, one of the three end. But I think that's more of a privilege that I'm granted than, like... Than something that makes me good. I just feel like, I think the other streamers just don't do it because they can't do it. Like the chat's flying by, but like I really appreciate it. I just feel like eventually I know that if I get a lot more chat comments, I won't be able to read them all. And so it's sort of a bittersweet thought. Hmm. This is really good. The seasoning on this jerk chicken. It's so flavorful. I feel like I can taste all these different spices. That's great. Hello. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. This chicken got... Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So someone says, I lost my virginity to an Asian. Uh, lucky you, Cody. What's going on here? Okay. Kind of hard to read chat with the phone angled down, so I'm gonna read it on my laptop right here. Just logging in, and boom. All right, so chat is now open on here. But yeah. Time to find your third black girl for round three. Thank you for the chat message. Here, let's... All right, my laptop is currently loading the chat, so I can just read it here. Scribble tonight? I think... I don't know. I guess I will. I guess I will. I haven't done it in a while. I need more, more tissues. Nose is running. Oh, I left my bag. Oh, no, it's over here. All right, good. I keep... I feel like this bag, I keep losing. I keep almost losing. But no, I got tissues there. I can't go anywhere without tissues. I don't know why. I always like, I always needed to like wipe my hands or like wipe my face or like blow my nose. Just, just can't go without them. I always need to have them on me. If not a travel pack, I'll just grab a bunch of tissues from a tissue box. That's voluminous. Did you give her the scribble? <laughs> All right. How long are you staying in Atlanta? I leave tomorrow. My flight to Minneapolis is tomorrow. Was the girl Asian? And she was on the she was on the stream. I actually did a stream earlier today. It was like a three minute stream, I think. With her. Yeah, she is black. But yeah. We stick together says, I just got here. Hello, we stick together. Good to see you here. When do you plan on coming back to LA? The first of October. 
and I hope I can go back to Ice's house. According to Kay says, yeah, I saw, oh, I saw you there, I saw you there. What's your Korean name? I'm not Korean, so I don't have a Korean name. Actually, no. My Chinese name is Huang Yiming. Huang Yiming is Huang, second tone. Yi, fourth tone. Ming, second tone. Huang Yiming. And if you look up the Chinese characters and pronounce them the Korean way, it becomes Huang Il Myung. Huang Il Myung. So that would be like Korean name, I guess. Huang Il Myung. Huang Il Myung. Myung. Huang, Huang Il Myung. Yeah. So H W A N G I L M Y U N G or M Y E O N G. Yeah. I guess that's my Korean name. Yeah, so Huang Yi Ming Y I M I N G. Happy Mid Autumn Festival, thank you, and Anson, and Son, and Son. Yeah, you saw BTS in Canada? Oh yeah. Uh, Serena is going to be seeing the BTS concert. I think in Atlanta. Yeah. She says that she knows all of the, a lot of their choreographies. Like she's a dancer, is what she says. But yeah, the singing's really good. It's a shame that exposure is so bad, though. I can see my face is like clipping to white. It looks terrible, but yeah. Speak Mandarin or Cantonese? Her Cantonese is very hard. I mean, they're both hard, but no. My parents didn't speak Chinese to me when I was growing up. My mom's a native speaker of Cantonese. And my dad is a native speaker of Shanghainese. Oh, that's a little better, I think. I don't know. My dad is a native speaker of Shanghainese. So neither of them are a native speaker of Mandarin, but they both speak it fluently. And I wish they would have spoken it to me growing up, but I guess they're more concerned with parenting. I don't know. I could have gotten the language for free and I didn't. So not to blame them, but it's a little disappointing. Lighting is better, yeah. There's less light, so, but the light there is is definitely better. This is like romantic. How many positions did you do? We did three positions. First was missionary. Then was, uh, no, yeah. First was missionary, then was doggy style. Then was forking. Apparently that's what it's called, forking. Yeah. Shanghai, yeah, from Shanghai. Apparently Shanghainese has two tones. That's, that's pretty unusual. It has only two tones. And it has a V sound in it. I know in Mandarin, Mandarin for a little bit is yi jian jian, yi jian jian. I, and I know that, my dad told me that in Shanghainese it's yi nian nian, or yi nian nian, I think. Yi nian nian. I don't even remember the way the tones go, but. But like, yeah, so they clearly have a very similar common ancestor, but it's been quite different. How many seconds did you last? Uh, I don't remember, but also she was doing fellatio for like a good amount of time. So that also skews the numbers too. I thought I was not going to last very long, but that, f but it was all right. You use a condom. Yeah, I did. Now at least during the penetration. What race was she? You used protection? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Or I did. Mm -hmm. I know Sifu is teacher from Kung Fu Lamao. Oh, was it Shu? Lao Shu is teacher. I don't know about Shu Fu. I don't even remember the tones, but yeah. I know that Lao Shu. Wow, sure is teacher. Yeah. I lost my B card to a short girl at a park. Hello, Maiden Max. Or, I mean, Keats. 
I mean, made Max. Yeah. Was she black? Yes, she she was black. Yes. But yeah. Plantains. I don't know. They're a little bit too sweet. I feel like they're just kind of. They're really sweet. Just like. I think they're supposed to be sweet. I just. I don't know. I don't really. I guess I'm just not really into sweet potatoes. I don't know. But yeah. Did she swallow? Well, I never. I never came when. When she was sucking. Mm -hmm. OMG Tricky D says, You are finally a man. Yeah, thank you, Tricky D. Smipe says, I lost my V card to a 2D waifu. That's good. Congratulations. That is a, that is a new achievement. It's like a frontier. I must be master then. See. Sifu. Yeah, I mean, I really do not think it's Sifu. Let me look it up on mdbg.net. mdbg.net. Let's look up Shifu is what I think it is. Or Sifu, I don't really know. Master slash qualified worker slash respectful form of address for older men. Older men. Hmm. Sure. That's... Shifu. Shifu. Let's listen to it. I love this website. This website is so good. No. It doesn't work. It doesn't work, but I think, it, but yeah, it's Shifu. Shifu. Those are the tones, I think, is what it is. That's, the, I don't know which tone that is. That is, oh, that's fourth tone. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But yeah, that was that. I don't know whether we'll be doing scr scribble or not. I'm kind of tired. I'm just like, I'm not sure. I just feel like, you know what? It should be good just to check in. It won't get, it won't get me any new viewers, but for you guys who want to hang out, I guess we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Does anyone know why you're going to Minneapolis? I'm going here for the Renaissance Festival. I've never been to a Renaissance Festival, and apparently this weekend is going to be the very last one of the year. So, I want to make sure that I'm there. You nutted all that energy, my friend. Thank you, Smiped. Did she come? Yes, twice. And I'm like, T.E.T. Alright, yeah. Anyway, uh, you have a fan meetup. I have a surprise for you. Thank you, Brian Nabara. Where are you at, Brian? Yeah. My first will last about 30 seconds, but we did it again 15 minutes later. Lamau and again and again. Yes. Will you go in Crouching Tiger Garb? Uh, they provide costumes. So I'm just gonna be bringing, I'm just gonna be wearing a one-size-fits-all costume. It's gonna be really good. I imagine it's gonna fit really well. If you keep doing it, your facial hair grows. Scribble or Jackbox games? Um, we'll be doing Jackbox, I think. I installed the Jackbox pack. So. That's voluminous. Yeah, there's a game that's a lot like Tinder that I really like. And it's really funny to see what people have to say to each other. It's one thing people writing stuff to, like, to the... to the host of the game. But it's another thing like to see people writing to each other. Death to meme answers. Yeah, that too, that too. You'll see. I lost my virginity in my best friend's bathroom with my high school GF back in the day. Oh, that sounds like an interesting life. Yeah. On my best friend's toilet, wow. Hello, OG Tear Shaky D. All right, I think I'm done with this as far as I know. I just, I'm not very good at eating all the meat on chicken. I see a lot of, I see a lot of seasoned service area here, but I don't know if it's edible. It's all black here. That means it's all seasoning here. Yeah. Oh, Big Dong, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, that's not edible, but I got a... Ooh. Yeah, I got a bite of just the seasoning. Very, very spicy. Phil, did you go and roll them out? I did not. 
Got to use protection. But yeah. It's all edible. You could even eat the bone marrow. That's true. Yeah. Okay. All good. All good. Was it the black girl that you lost your virginity to? Well, there were two. There were two uh, black women uh, in the past three days. So, uh, yes. But I would not say it was the black girl because it was just one of them. Well, uh, wording. I don't know. I just. The more I talk about the worse it sounds. But this is what Ali wanted. We have to thank Ali for making all this possible. So once again, I want to talk about how good, how much I have to thank Ali and like how glad I am that like he came into my life just because like, it's great to see like his development too. It's Cause he talked about how he was such a loner, you know, moving from Kuwait four years ago. Uh, and being an introvert and like a loner and how like seeing ISIS streams has like helped him open up and like, he pressured me to come to Atlanta. He, like, I didn't even want to do it for the longest time. Go to the r slash shrill otter subreddit and comment in that appreciation thread because <coughs> or wrote it up or something just because I think he really, I really have to thank him because he's been like, he's always like, oh, you should uh, like, oh, you need to stream, dude. You need to stream. Oh, we should go there. We should go here. We should stream here. Oh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's go to a club. Like he's been like sort of providing me with like energy. He's been providing me with like, enthusiasm and like he's honestly trying to help my stream and like he honestly wants to help me and it's because of him that like so many things have happened and he like clearly uh and also i think he's really he's really funny too i think whether sometimes intentionally sometimes unintentionally i just think he's just like really funny to be around so i really have to say that ellie is he he's really great and he really just uh deserves a lot of deserves a lot of love you need to get your teeth knocked out with a ball that is a good as a oh man i just oh, i feel terrible that that happened like honestly like for uber i don't know i it's like really unfortunate that that that, that happened and i hope that he recovers yeah anyway let's move to the computer so that we can stream and so that we can play a game uber deserved it yeah Ollie, yeah. You and him should have butt sex. Do it for the content. That would be good content. I mean, a lot of people watch the scribble. I mean, people watch the Twister game, right? You guys see the the Twister game we did with Andrew? I want to do more streams with Andrew too. I mean, I don't know. Ollie doesn't really like Andrew too much, but uh, and I see his points, but Andrew's also looking out for me. And I think that he's also funny too, in a different way. And I definitely want to hang out with both of them separately at different times in the future. Yeah. But anyway, let's move to, let's open up OBS on this computer. Oh no, Mainmax says, screw Andrew. Like Andrew gave me life advice. I think maybe, maybe he's not good for the stream, but you see the clip of a dancing getting his phone stolen? I did not. I heard about it happening, and that's honestly unfortunate. And I hope he gets it back or gets a new one. But Andrew better have on-screen chemistry. I think he did, but I don't know. Either way, Andrew and Ollie are definitely quite different. Andrew and Ali are quite different, but uh, I definitely want to hang out with both of them in the future. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's let's get this stream going. All right, uh, reset, reset, transform. We'll be doing that. All right, let's. And this stream here, and start on the other one. Is it going? It's going. It's going. All right, perfect. Yeah. Hello, Freddy. Smooth, yeah. It's crazy how well this works. I'm surprised. Let's. I'm gonna. I want to not have to worry about my hair, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. I'm gonna do a little bit of 
this. There we go. Looking good as always. It's like a it's like the underside of a mushroom. I think I've used too much shampoo. But yeah. Looking very, very good. Alright, now I'm gonna open chat on this phone. It's sort of like opposite of how it was before. Let's get that going. Let's get that going. Oh yeah. Let's see, that's Let's switch accounts. So yeah, we're gonna be playing some either yeah, we're gonna be playing some Jackbox games. So that's how it's gonna go. Let's get let's get Jackbox Party Pack open. Because I really like the the one that's like Tinder. See, I gotta close some I should close some applications, I don't know. Let's I uh... Alright. The demon Andy hairstyle. <laughs> that's uh I like that. I like that. Yeah. Whoa. Why is there no oh there we go. Start, boom. Us Virginia Lol, yes, that is true, that's what happened. <coughs> Can you explain story? Uh yeah, I should do that. Given Virginia, what's going on here? Alright. I just wanna got a little bit smaller. Alright. Let's play Fibbage. Let's just do Fibbage. So Wi-Fi still blocking Steam. Oh, whose Wi-Fi am I on? Oh no, I'm on my own Wi-Fi. I'm on my hotspot Wi-Fi. I'm on mobile data right now. I'm on mobile data. Do a 24 hour getting my virginity back stream? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> QRTC. Alright. Well, there we go, I'm in there. I'm now in there. Perfect. Yes, okay. What's up, guys? You have the third party. I do not have the third one. Right now, I only have the fourth. Alright. Wait, tell me about this uh, B I G E couch. Uh, sell me the third party pack. I want to learn about the third party pack, honestly. Alright. All right, chalk can start the game. Perfect. You can hit everybody's in. Do you use Tinder off stream? I do not. I do not. Oh, sorry, Flat Earth. Maybe next time. Welcome to Fibbage. I'm Cookie, and I haven't told the truth in years. Hope you're ready. Ha. Uh, Full uh -huh. house, I see. Fantastic. And if you're not playing, don't forget you can still join the audience. Are you crashing ice cream? Get to guess the truth Are you crashing ice cream? What does that mean? To fool the players. Let's hit it. Let's see. Hold on. Levels, levels. Oh, levels, 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 levels. Level. All right. Five hundred points for everyone you fool. And Hello, Mister. Cool looking at. Yeah. My dad truth. hasn't told the truth to my mom in years. Why didn't it when he has girls so IRL? Category. Too low. Okay. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna hello. Yeah, okay. That should be good. Here's the first question. In 2017, the Frick Museum in New York City displayed an Antonio Canova statue of a nude blank. Now use your device to enter a lie that might deceive other players into picking it. If you can't think of anything, that lie for me button will give you a suggestion for half the points. Do it already. Of a nude. A Frick Museum. An Antonio Canova statue of a nude. Hmm. Snail. Right, I don't know. Oh, I didn't leak the stop. answer, but oh well. Uh, so I mean, you randomly show up on the stream today. Hmm. Okay, those are the choices. Touch the truth on your device now. 
I'm gonna say. So you you guys are trying to fool each other. Nude came up Eddie in a hotel room. That's a good option. That's a good option. Let's do. I'm gonna say. New George Washington. That's what I think. I hope I didn't get fooled. I hope I didn't get fooled. I love this part. Venus and Milo. Okay. That is not true. That's a lie. That's a good lie, Chalk. Mon yeah, that's a lie. Thank you for that, Jack. Oh, I mean, thank you for that, Freddy. Jack, you got fooled by Freddy. You know, Washington? Oh, that's the truth. There we go. Mex is on TV. You lie. got it. You got it's it. It's really cold in here. Wow. It was not a monkey. <coughs> All right, let's get it. But yes, that is true, man. Max, high IQ, I guess. I don't know. All right, choose a category. All right, Max, you gotta choose a category. Max is on TV. You're gonna choose something. Googling yourself, okay, time you don't have all day. Shakespearean. Okay. And the question is. In 2014, an unusual Shakespeare adaptation premiered in London titled King Lear with Blank. King Lear with Blank. Your lies now. What did King Lear possibly have? Right. Hmm. What do I do if it lie for me? Oh. I don't know, whatever. That's, that's my lie. I guess you can just choose someone else's lie. Oh, why would he do that though? I don't Hurry know. Up. Use a suggestion if you can't Live by the snail, it. die by the snail. Snowboy 808. That is true. Thank you, Joe. Alright. All right, no worries, made in the max. No worries, made in the max. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. King Lear with his princess, sheep, 20 babies, Fortnite, Cyrus. Hmm. Wrestlers. I didn't say wrestlers. Hopefully, I wasn't fooled. This game is a scammer. I guess so. Let's you see, see what snails gangs did to you as well. Oh no. Okay. So Jackson, <coughs> the way this game works is the way this w game works is that there is a blank. So there's like a truth, a true thing that happened with a oh with sheep. Okay. Wow. So three people got it right, but it'll give you a prompt. Of like it'll give you a true fact that has a blank, and everyone tries to make up a lie, Ma tries to make up a fake thing to put in that blank, and the goal is to fool other people into believing that. So you want to choose the right thing, and you might choose other people's lies, but you have to pick out the right one out of the lies. That's just that was my attempt at describing it. Okay, here's your question. Made in Max, you're Jimmy good. Loftus took on an odd project. For over a year, she's been slowly eating blank. Enter your lies now. Hmm. So, so all eight players will put in lies, but then after everyone puts in their lies, then it'll show everyone all of the lies, but also one truth, the true thing, put in there as well. So there's nine options, uh, and you have to choose the right one. Right, you want to choose the true thing. Alright. Alright, there we go. Okay, here you, you go. Find you the could truth. Google it online, but that would that would ruin the game. Slowly eating ass. Slowly eating carrots. I'm gonna say her house. That's what I think. If you get it wrong, you get shot. Moss Snowboy, stop right, things, Andy. How many more picked. teeth need to be lost? How many blind men have to be lost? Oh, no. And it carrots. was also... <coughs> oh, they both said carrots, huh? Great minds. Yeah. Snake? Oh, I got him. Maybe I should move the camera. Your streak is dead. Dang. Unfortunate, made Max. 
Oh, it's unfortunate. Infinite jest. Oh. I only ate the first couple chapters, but I tell everyone I ate the whole thing. That's quite a book. So she's been eating a book. I don't think that's really fibbage material. I don't think that's really that good. What did Chalk... Oh. What did Chalk write? On to round two, where all point values are doubled. Yeah, Infinite Jest is a book. It's the title of a book. Okay, but good yeah. category. All right. Ahoy, what, ma... Oh, yeah. All right. I wrote carriage, but someone else did, too. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Cockshot is simply an old English word meaning blank. Write your lies now. What could that mean? What could that be? Hmm. All right, there's my lie. Oh. Finish quick. You just hit the All right. Button. How was it like? It was fun. It was fun. Okay, I'm gonna get only decent answer. Oh. Slowly eating carrots. It's true, Danny. That's true, Danny. All right. Old English word meaning what? Cock shut is an old English word meaning. I'm gonna say dry. I don't know. Dry. Did your pee pee get hard? Okay, let's. Take I guess a look. it did. I guess it did. The man went in. Raw. I wouldn't say raw. I gotta throw this thing away. Twilight. Twilight, that's the truth. Okay, so that means Cockshot. I used to like the Cockshot books, but it was all downhill after Cockshot New Moon. I think I should give Snail Boy. I think <coughs> I think I should give Snail Boy 20% of my donations, I guess. I think that would be a good idea. Hey, let me show you this something. This is Fibbage. This is Fibbage. Also a good game. Time. This 1907 illustration from Austria is entitled Trip to Blank. Where? All right, type in your lives. I don't know. I have an idea. I'm thinking that. Yeah, I'm thinking that. There we go. Thank you, Mark Juan Lynch. Christopher Ramos, who did you lose your virginity with? The black girl? Yeah, it was with the black girl from yesterday. The one who I approached at the anime convention. Yeah. Yes, hello, Andrew Whitfield. That is true. That makes sense. Trip to Atlanta. Alright, what is this gonna be? Flavor Town. I bet that's the real one. 1907. Trip to Illusion, the Let's Moon. Let's see what everybody selected. Atlanta, Lamar. Yes, it is definitely Atlanta. Lamar. Flavor Town. Our Lie. The best answer. Yeah, I agree. Trip to losing your V card. And it was also. Oh, yes. You three were fooled. Hmm, kind of spooky. Yeah, it's a Guy Fieri reference. It is. It is. Uh, I've always found it relaxing to torture a seahorse. Yeah, I yoinked you. I yoinked you. Category Freddy. Category. 
actually it's pronounced category. And time's up. Now listen up. When Christopher Viatapa Googled himself in 2014, he was surprised to find that he was blank. Okay, enter your lies. He was Googled himself. He was uh what was he? Christopher Viatafa. He Googled himself. He found that he was Ooh. Mm. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Alright, that's my answer. I hope I didn't make a typo. Okay, well. Yeah, Mark one. Truth? This game is this game is Fibbage 3. Fibbage, it is Fibbage 3 in the Jackbox Party Pack 4. Yeah. On the CX network. Memed. Oh, I'm thinking meme. Alright, who picked what? How long are you singing in Atlanta? I leave tomorrow. My flight out is tomorrow. Are you going to try to get lucky in Minneapolis? Maybe I should, I don't know. Maybe people will watch that, I don't know. I feel like if I do that, that'll and jinx it, it though. Also... I feel like it'll jinx it. Well, that was interesting. I don't want to, like, be on a high note or whatever. A most wanted suspect, oh my tragic. god. He was also in a bad parody of Gangnam Style. Did you root a girl? I guess I did. I guess I did. I don't think losing your two front teeth ain't redemption for those two innocent dogs. It's a good point. Oh, I should switch. I should switch to my microphone. I'll switch to my good microphone. Triple points. Have fun. Vesex is a particularly niche business. It collects blank from blank. Type in your lies now. Wait. Where's my microphone? I thought it was in my... my suitcase. I remember I put it in my suitcase I mean, I don't think it got taken, but I don't know, I'll try to find it off stream. I don't remember where it is. Best I can... Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll try to find it. Can you barrage her, then hit her with a DDS spec. Okay, I don't know what a DDS is spec is, truth. but yes, I don't know. Watching ISO TV, watching phone. Pog, hello gamer pool. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gamer Pool. Alright. It collects. Alright, I'm thinking. Best X. Blood from Placentas. I don't know. Maybe it got me fooled. It was pretty good. Fortification. Did it feel like heaven? It was alright. It was alright. Okay, it wasn't as much pick? feeling. Because it was with a condom, but. But yeah. Uh, nice fibbing. Oh, you fooled me, Chalk. <laughs> Are you gonna go if he goes? Yeah, I would. I like Atlanta. Andrew Whitfield asked, I was talking about Atlanta earlier. If you're gonna go if he goes. I am. I would, I would. <laughs> and you all missed it. Wait, what condom had more feeling? No, I was wearing a condom, so it didn't, there wasn't as much feeling. Yeah. Hello, George82. Yes, that's true. Whoa. Yay. I'm hoping someone didn't take my microphone. I'm glad no one took my laptop. I'm pretty sure I just don't know where it is.
Pibbage 3. Pibbage 3. Music. Oh my god, that's cool. As I try to Yeah, I'm just trying to find my my, my good microphone because this would be good to have. Maiden Max says, I joined your microphone. Thank you. Thank you, Maiden Max. You lost your virginity your virginity before I said hello, ortification. That's probably true. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna play. We're gonna go back, we're gonna play. Hmm. Survive the Yeah, I didn't really like Survive the Internet. Civic Doodle. Alright, let's try this. I don't know. Maybe the Tinder like one. The one that's like Tinder is good. Well, let's experiment a bit. Civic Doodle, huh? I just had a bad perception of Atlanta because of an altercation video. You should tell him it's fine. I I think I should. P H R R. Hello. 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 Oh, that was like me. Hello. P H R R. Hello. I'm audience. No, I want to participate. Sorry, guys. Alright. No Roblox. M N Y X. Let's try that. Hello? Boom. Hello. 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 It's like a shrill otter simulator. Alright. Hello. Alright, I'll say everyone's in. Maybe audience can fill up, I don't know. I just want you for the mansion. I do want to let Ice know, like, I do want to tell him that, like, I am ready to pay rent with the income that I get from elsewhere. I've got a trackpad. It's on the trackpad. This is going to be very hard. Alright, let's give this a try, and boom. All right, that's me. Okay. Isn't the rent high? I don't know, but I feel like it should be worth it. Everyone's in. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what we're playing, Chaz Dog. Welcome to Doodle Valley, where the food has more than seven times the recommended levels of salt. Thank you all for volunteering or being unwillingly enlisted to participate in our town beautification. Only doing one month at Remember, first. We're still looking for audience members to join in and cast their votes. I just want you. He's considering it. All right, thank you, Georgie. Eighty-two. The crab, white walls in the town into colorful community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Lucille. Oh, is this That's gonna not work? My name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. Dodo at least not. As you can right. see, this mural is already in progress. The city council was supposed Longer to be on to paint. Well, I approached someone at the anime convention. Then we got drinks. Then we arranged a date at my hotel room. We watched anime together today. Around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will. And then we had sex. <laughs> Oh, All right. I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, volunteers, ready, still ready, and ready. Let me go. So, everyone, how you feel about the drawing? Left one is like that. Right one's like that. The rest of you can express your feelings about their work with the buttons on your device. I can express my feelings. So one of them's drawing one thing, one of them's drawing a different thing. Oh, this is interesting. See, who's the person drawing on the right? I never thought I'd say it, but I'm an I am 21. 
you all are gonna have to decide which one of these is better. Come on, vote, why don't ya? Well, that one's better. Eggplant emoji, of course. It does have a long intro, man. And we've got some mail-in ballots from the audience. Yeah, uh, Georgie82. These are Jackbox games. So th these are Jackbox games. That's seven letters, Jackbox. I'm picking an emoticon that tickles my fancy and giving out a bonus to the drawing that got the most of them. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most purple bananas. Whatever those are. Purple bananas. Yeah, you see a different screen to me because. Now let's see what you two can add. Because like this is the host. Go. Oh, I see this concept. Am I drawing? I'm not drawing, but I can vote on these. I say the one on the left is a question mark, or an eggplant, or just one of these. Oh, this is like Periscope. This is like Periscope. Yes, I can just keep clicking this. There we go. Hello, Erudo. What's up? Maybe it sounds like a perv. Those are some good additions. Now we vote. Which one's better, one or two? Well, then we choose. I say one's better. I like one more. It has like a collar. So I vote. Look at those 49 question marks. Those are for me. Okay, Hello, Christian Cook. Good to see you. It's good. All right. This time, the bonus goes to the most. It's like survival of the fittest. Hello, Janie, darling. Good to see you. It's gonna be very good. Very good to see how this, how this drawing develops. The people have spoken. All okay, right. let's see what you two can do. You two can do. Go. <coughs> I want to get a good amount of sleep. So that I can be not sick. All right. Okay. Uh, drawing time. Oh, I'm drawing. Oh no. Uh, yeah. All right. Time to vote. That's an eggplant there. That's an eggplant there. We got very similar emojis here. Oh, thank you, Chocolate, for letting me know. It was, didn't realize it was my turn. But yeah, there we go. I drew that. So obviously you vote for the one on the left. Obviously. You spam me the bad emotes. Oh, thank you. Very unbiased vote. There we go. Next up. Perfect. Go. I wonder where my microphone is. There's not ma that many places it could be. Oh, <laughs> people love the emojis. I didn't even realize. Oh, too late. Time to vote. All right, which one's better? Which one of these is better? I like the left one. It's very well colored. My microphone now, I guess that's maybe what happened. It's only like $60 now, so. Rack up those votes. <sighs> yeah. Stop everything. I think this piece is finished. Now it just needs a title. Use your devices to suggest one. All right. Boom. Yeah, hello, Isis Bloody Nose. That is very true. That is very true. Which one is it going to be? Yeah, thank you. 
This game is called Civic Doodle, I think. It's like Civic Duty, okay. I don't really like that pun. It's like people people try to add two people will try to add to a drawing and then you vote which one's better. And then whichever better one it is. Then two other people will try to add to that drawing. Audience? Now people are naming it. Oh, that's mine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, time for the big That's my name. I can't wait. You tell the story already? Yeah. This will definitely affect tourism. Yay. One way or another. <laughs> I like that. I like this game. This is good. I'm glad to be experimenting, just like I experimented today. Where's the next stop on our beautification tour? Hmm. How about here? Ah. I mean, the map theme is cool. I like how they always have a theme that's not related to the game. Alright, you two guys are drawing. We'll see what you guys can add. And then I can put in some emojis, too. Yeah, we didn't... It was first missionary, and it was dogging, and then it was forking, as it's called. I don't know. As people say it's called forking, I don't know. But yeah, it was... I don't know, I'm just glad about it, because it was, like, fun for both of us. It was a mutual experience that was good which is what I'm glad about anyway boom, boom, boom. question marks all right it's voting time oh whoa those are quite different what is that all right it's like a race car or something I don't know like go. racing over a ramp Was it the black girl I kissed? Yeah, it was the girl from yesterday. The one that I approached yesterday. Next oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. go. Is it me? No, it's not me. Good. Boom, boom, boom. There, there we go. Oh no. What's happening? Oh, is that going to be ice right there? What are you doing on the right side? Something. Huh. Boat away. No, oh. Alright. Thank you, Mr. Left Side. Damn, he didn't treat her out. Well, I did order Uber Eats. And then he ate it here on stream. Yeah, thank you, Lobo Media. And they also bought the dinner that we had yesterday. Well done, Chalk. I like Up that. Next. You won just by Go. just by the other person. Oh, it's my turn. Hard to draw with a trackpad. Hey, Allie, what's up? Good to see you, my oh, oh, you got the troll profile picture, of course. Good to see you, Allie. Yeah, no, uh, I really want to see you again. Like when they walked into the hotel room, I felt bad. I, this part. I felt like you know, the it was like a bittersweet moment. It didn't really hit me until I walked into the hotel room and you weren't there. It's sad. I want to see you again because I really think you were like. I feel like you're like a good friend. I don't know. Or at least like, you know, once again, we need that alley appreciation thread to blow up. All right, so two people are drawing. Oh, you picked mine, thank you. Thank you for whoever voted for my drawing. Now two people, two other people are going to try to make additions. All right, you're copying each other. I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna add some, uh, some question mark emojis to whatever you're doing right there. Boom, boom, boom. See the question mark emoji on the left side? There we go. But yeah. Oh no! <laughs> it's voting time. I wanted to give you a hug before I left. Oh man, yeah, we should have done that. We should have done that. Here's a hug through the screen. Boom. Alright. Here we go. 
those audience votes in. Saucy Fox says, I'm using a trackpad too. Oh, man. Wanted to do a one month streamer house in Atlanta. Oh, really? Oh, man. Wow, that's like, that's not a coincidence. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready for a title. Alright. What's this gonna be called? Uh, what is this tourist attraction gonna be named now? It's gonna be called. I don't know. Boom. All right. Did you lose your Vicarjo man? It was to a woman that I met. Find the title that, that I approached yesterday. And vote. All right. You was literally straight live streaming a Netflix movie. Oh man. I would do that, but I would do it on Rabbit. I would do that on Rabbit. Alright. Sundays with ice. Hmm. Hello, N.A. What's up? Good to see you here. Oh, no. oh yeah, unfortunately, I already told the story. Sorry sure about that, N.A. It was kind of near the beginning of the stream, and it kind of took a long time, so... I don't know. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, no. Let's see exactly what you're responsible for. Beautiful. Some days I love my job. Jury's still out on today. Not bad. Looking good. What now, Mr. Mayor? Oh, All thank I you, Man Max, for the summary. I'm looking for forward to it. Artist, Mrs. <laughs> you're like doing it's God's not... work by doing this. What is it? You all have done so well. I want to commission you to do a portrait. She was a fellatio expert. She was. She like read about it. She studied. Get ready, everyone, because you're all oh. drawing at once this time. Oh. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. There you go. A fine subject for a portrait. Um, that's wonderful, but we don't know who that is or what they look like. You remember, they live near the cemetery. I used to go and hang out in the cemetery. I'd have picnics there often. And bring my dog. Between you and me, I don't think he knows who it is either. So let's just start by drawing some eyes. Any eyes will do. It's just eyes. It's just eyes, guys. You're only supposed to draw eyes. No bad options here, but let's vote on which is best. I vote for three. Number two wins. What do you What do you mean? It's just eyes. Plus the audience. All right. Wait. A tie, huh? A tie. Hit this one. No. I mean, sure. <laughs> Next, how about a nose? <coughs> Thank you. Man, you got some beautiful eyes. <laughs> no. Alright. All the nose. <laughs> How are you supposed to, <laughs> to draw a nose? Wow. <laughs> this is not right. This is not right. I don't agree with this. Can't work with these. All right, vote. What am I voting for? I'm voting for number number whatever three. I don't care. 
All right. Another time, I'm gonna pick this one. I like how they solve the ties. Now, let's do the mouth. Mouth. Well, it worked out. It's good that you draw the eyes. It's like the nose and the eyes are kind of reversed. You draw... <laughs> a nose was drawn when the eyes were supposed to be drawn. And then you drew eyes when a nose was supposed to be drawn. There you go. Beautiful. Trill's still playing by the rules? I guess so. Okay, vote. I mean, yeah. You got to play by the rules. I'm voting for... I'm voting for... Number four. Did you see Broke wants to fight Burger? Because Ice Flush is 8 ball of Coke and cans, you think Finally, Burger did it. Ooh. You want. Go That's no finish. good. Alright. Finish with anything. Well, we gotta have ears. <laughs> I like how you can see everyone else drawing their drawing. What am I gonna add? Something. There we go. Boom. Easy. That's a job application photo. I don't know. There we have it. Be no, someone ruined their drawing. Vote together. Oh, it's Zans. Oh, Kogan Z. Shoot. I mean, Kogan Zans. That's CX, right? All right. Voting time. I vote. Vote one. That's a good one. Beautiful cheeks, beautiful everything. It's amazing. All right. Token Xanax now. That's right. I pick this one. Okay, let's take a look. Delilah Huxuckle. There we go. It's constabulary. You all did our town proud. But let's see who did it the proudest. Beautiful. Yeah, that makes sense, Khalil, but... Yeah. Are you in CX? I guess I am. I am. Yeah, I am. Oh. Well, thank you. Thank you, folks. I guess I win. I guess I win. There you go. I feel like there's supposed to be something here. Oh. Wait, who's drawing there? A free for all drawing mode. Oh, there we go. There we go. No. All right, thank you. Thank you, teal person. Your Rose channel today, th very important. Thank you, F Money. Yeah, it's bro my brother has a very good channel. All right. New players. All right, folks. I like this game. I like this game. So we're going to play again. L O U C. All right, let's do this. L O U C. Hello. Yellow. Yellow. Stupid oh. teal people, am I right? <laughs> oh my god. I guess so. Hello, Trey Sends. I should. Mm. Mm. It's, right there. it's right there. Yeah, boom. Like that. Alright. Oh man, the lighting makes it look so flat, like I have no body, but I actually do. Alright. Alright. 
Hey, Beautiful. you. Welcome to Doodle Valley. Be sure to visit the statue of Jimothy Doodle and rub his nose for good luck. Jimothy Doodle, huh? That. Where should we spread artistic joy today, Mr. Mayor? Right Chafing Leo Tard dance. Ooh. That's, that's relevant to uh, CX stuff. Keep in mind, I'm that's... putting you on a short timer so you don't get lost in artistic thought. Okay, I've seen the word leotard ready? more Set. in the past few weeks than they have in a long time. No. All right. I wonder what it would be like to wear a leotard. I guess it would be pretty chafy. All right, let's let's get some eggplants on the left side, everybody. Eggplants on the left drawing. Everybody's now, everybody. Let's get some eggplants on the left side. Eggplants on the left. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Mm. All right. Two. Very strong candidates. Well, it's one person voters, played the game. Player. One person Red played the game. Oh. Alright, I think this is a runaway. Yeah, it's a runaway. Okay, count them up. And I would never forget our audience voters. All right. What's well, good? Show, draw my so and so. Chalk. Yes. There we go. I love it. Oh, I'm next. I'm next. There we go. There you go. Go. All right. I'm drawing. I'm drawing. What am I gonna do? Hmm. Everyone loves drawings of streamers, right? So. Is it Super Saiyan it's or is it Streamer? Alright. You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna do that quite as violently. That was not good. Hellman Max says, <laughs> Top. It's a good hat. I want one of those hats someday. Oh, I should get Volus at a spinny top hat. A propeller head. Is that Sam <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. I guess I won't. Totally unbiased. Wonderful. Now you two get to add something. Let's keep the civic pride rolling. Oh, I should I should need to get one for full to sad. No. Alright. Alright, so two people are drawing now. Let's get some uh, eggplants in the left side, boys. Eggplants in the left side, everybody. Yes. There we go. Ice's nose. Ah. Uh. Boom. Like plans on the left side. So I think the bucket hat fetcher man's hat would be good. Okay. That's a good point. Alright. What did the right side add? I think it's gonna be left side. I vote for number one. Boom. Check out. And the audience? Alright. That's gonna be. Winner. Boom, perfect. Next up. Go! Alright. Who's drawing? Our work and closing that. Hmm. So two people should be drawing now. Is it gonna be me? No. Let's get some eggplants on the left side, everybody. Eggplants on the left side. We're doing a chicken dinner. Yeah. No. All right, we're doing. All right, eggplants are still coming without me. Yes. There you go. <laughs> it's voting time. All right. Oh, I like that colors on the right side. That's good. There's colors on the right drawing. That's I'm trying to see what was. Oh, you added like sprouts. It's like a find the differences thing. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. I'm more a more a colored hat kind of guy. Thank you, Freddy. Though. All right. 
Wait, not that many people voted. I can't tell. Huh. Yes, winner. Exactly. Nobody moves. Looks like a magic hand. Do you not know? But it still needs a title. Use your device to suggest one. Not enough time. Oh yeah, sorry about that, Freddy. Pick your favorite and vote. Well, that's not a good idea. All right. Okay, you know what? Yeah, that's too soon. I'm not gonna do that. Close. All right. Hello, Chell. Chell Sonin. All right. The hard work. No. Done. Let's step back and admire our work. Oh, I was trying to figure out what that purple thing was. That's all right. Andrew crying. All right. Let's take this community spirit to a new part of town. Yes. Right. No way. Right here. Very, very good. Get ready for community fun. Community fun. Go. Let's get some eggplant. Let's get some laughing emojis on the left side. Boom. Laughing emojis on the left side, everybody. That's very funny left side. No one's strong on the left. Oh, never mind. Looking good. It's supposed to be an eggplant. Alright, thank you, Taz Dog. Whoa. Vote away. Vote. Hmm. Oh, I'm next. Good. I like the robot idea though. There we go. Boom. You're up next. That's that looks like a button, but it's not a button. Alright. Let's see. Let's see what people have to draw here. Let's count those votes. Oh, chalk! I like that. The audience's voice must be heard. All right. What's it gonna be? Up next. Go. Hmm. Trying to figure out what this could be. Hmm. All right. Oh, I like the last one more, actually. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Perfect. She was supposed to be in the, yeah. Hello, court. Oh, no. You don't have to vote for me. Oh, yeah. Voting time. Let's see what people vote for. Rack up those votes. Oh. In the audience. There we go. Boom. Stop drawing Burger Planet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next on deck. Allie still left everything in the fridge. He still left everything in the fridge. Let's see what's in the fridge, guys. Folks. Let's check out the fridge. Drawing. So two people are drawing right now. No one's drawing. Oh, someone's drawing. All right. Let's check out the fridge. I don't think you guys can see it too well. Yeah, you can't see it. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, all right. It's like an energy drink. There's like some leftovers from a restaurant. I've overloaded with the tongue. Boom. Burger eating the stream bot. No. What is it? Robotstreamer.com. Hey, yeah. Up. Hey, no. 
Next up, go. One thing I didn't realize, I think, I forgot to mention about the whole, you know, sex thing. One thing I didn't realize, or that I sort of forgot about, was how physical it is. I just kind of forgot about that. <laughs> people already people don't even need to be prompted. Eggplants on the left side, everybody. I guess some on the right side too. It was very physical. There's a lot of energy exerted. I totally forgot about that. It's voting time. I first noticed that when we were doing the missionary thing. I was like doing the I was like basically doing the plank. But like a moving plank. It was just like surprise oh, 169 eggplant emojis. But alright, let's do Alright, we're doing the right side, I guess. I don't know. I don't see anything added. How long is best TBH? This is a murmur, murmur, murmur. Possibly, possibly. I'm not exactly sure what to call hmm. this, but it does need a title. <laughs> well, what kind of a finished product is this? Hmm. I don't know what you could possibly name this. I don't know. Boom. Now vote for your favorite. Hope Malone engages with me. R.I.P. Robot. Shrill and Sharina. <laughs> Shrill during Smash. Digital Snap. Oh, that was mine. Daily Supplement. No title. Michelle Otter, aka Michael. Smiling. Face. What's it gonna be? The daily supplement, alright. Gotta have it. Let's admire our work, shall we? Hello, Maiden Max. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Just kinda Woo! hits you, doesn't it? Now that's art! It is. Check out VP Gloves, might be new to CX Network. Huh. That's cool. Alright. What's next, Mr. Mayor? I think they're ready for another portrait for the town hall. Yes. Portrait for the for the town hall. Let's check this out. Well, All right. Everyone's drawing at the same time. Better just draw Andrew eyes. Anderson. Better just draw eyes this time. Just dust off the old Doodle Valley phone book here. And here we go. That's who you're gonna draw. Once check out Asian, and he's new to CS Network too. That was that true. Is. That was a good idea. Yeah, you remember. They used to sell corn shoes at the ball game. Remember, you know, they go the corn shoes. You guys get the idea. Uh, Just draw shoes. some eyes, okay? You know, you have a, a nickel or two to get it there. And they're not the most comfortable shoes in the world, but they last as long as you Alright, we're drawing some eyes. All right, some very fine eyes. Boom. All right. Where Burger is about to smash the girl, he probably says it's pizza time now. All right. I love them all. Thank you for that. I love them all. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't think they're all that lovable. I think some. Oh no, that's oh. I actually like that. that's. Oh, that's so recognizable. Oh my god. Oh, you guys can't see it. You guys can't see it. It's the Uber one. Oh my god. Oh man, you guys should have seen it. Oh, that was. That's a shame. A nose. I don't know. Something. That's a nose. Alright, what's up, Cyclops? Yeah. You gotta draw a nose. Here on your device. 
Uh, my favorite is uh, the Goblin one. I like that number seven. Boom. Eyes remind me of Broke. Oh no. Audience. Well, who do they vote for? I like how they do that. Make him smaller, can't see. Alright, that's true. Thank you, Andrew. Mm. So you guys gotta gotta draw a mouth now. <coughs> Alright, we're adding a mouth to this thing. There we go, there's your mouth. Boom. Alright, hello. Hello, cool. Andrew, yes. Thank you, Andrew, for the advice, too. Okay, vote. Boom. Wonderful. All right. We were vo I vote for the number seven because it's... All right. Oh, too late. Toss Are you going to watch more anime? I guess so. Finish this off with anything you want. You guys deserve it. I smell weed. Anyway, yeah. Finish with anything. Alright, here we go. Hmm. Let's add some weekend hair. Get, draw the pineapple. I don't know. Let's add a body. Very small t shirt. Beautiful. That's all we need. Hmm. There we have it. So you're going to pick eight? I don't know what's happening. Something. Yeah, hello, Maiden Max. Let's cherish this. Alright. Ears. Oh, yeah, it needs ears. That's a good point. It's ears. Favor on your device. I vote for six. I don't know. These are interesting. What's it gonna be? The audience. What's it gonna be? Do I have to throw everything around here? I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, I voted for that one. Okay, Very good. time to take it all in. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful portrait. That's the next Michael D'Angelo. Doodle Valley After a beautiful Ari. Beautiful artistic experience Ari right like that. there. Does it even really matter? There should be a timer for players. Oh, it, oh, it does. Okay, you are a beast of this game. Perfect. A winner. All right, let's try to let's try not to block out the whole screen this time. Oh, how did I get disconnected? Oh, what happened? I don't even know. We know what happened. Okay. Well, that was good. That was Civic Doodle. Let's play one more game. Let's play a different one. Let's go back. Boom. All right. We're doing bracketeering. Debate. Stay smart. As you know, I think I'm going to end the stream, guys. You know what? Maybe I need a little bit more warning. So we're going to do some Monster Seeking Monster. So I like this one. It's like Tinder. You see a timer for players. That's a good point. All right, we are going to just play this mo this very Tinder-like game because I like this one. I think it's funny. I think it's a funny game. A A A I. Yo, CX Brandon, let's see if you can get in. Brandon! Oh, excuse me, what do I look like? I say I look like... I look like her. Brandon! 
Brandon, you're my only sponsor. You know what? I'm not going to... I'm not going to let this game go on before you get in. So sorry about the guys who got in, but Brandon's got to get in this one. Brandon, Brandon you got to get in this one if you can, if it's possible. P-E-W-A. P-E-W-A. Pua. Oh, you were in. Oh, sorry about that. Whoops. I choose this guy. All right. Oh, I can choose everyone's in. Brandon, you got to choose a person. Choose a character. Got Tritz, Hindome. Yeah, hello, OMG Tricky D. What's going on here? I don't understand that. Yeah, Brandon is my one sponsor. All right, you know, that's fine. There you go. Looking good. Looking good, Brandon. I got to get some water. Welcome to Monster, Monster Seeking, Monster. Seeking Monster. Monster. My name cannot be properly spoken with the mortal tongue, but you can call me Felicia. I'll be hosting six nights of dastardly dating, where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a was, date and was, both was, earn a heart. What's that title? It's true, it's true. With the most hearts wins. Usually. Did I mention you're all secretly monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. Let's all take a chance on love. In a bonus hearts. With potentially terrifying monsters. Hello, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Maiden Max. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. Thank you, Maiden Max, for <laughs> being my second member. So thank you so much. Out. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Man, that's cool to see that. That's cool to see that. I don't know if it shows up here. All right. And yeah, there you go. There. You thank you so much, Maiden Max. All right. Anyway, I got to write something. So the game here is to message different people, start chatting. All right, I'm gonna message, uh, hello baby. And let's get it on. Hello CS, I say what it do. How many chats do I have? I have two messages left. Two messages left. Did I mention that your secret conversations Ready, might be seen by everyone during like the day? My bad. I'm soon dare. Boom. Okay, uh, Chalk says, hello, Chalk. Alright, boom, that's it. I have no messages left to send. CS says, I'm gay for you. Thank you, CS. Uh, Tazi Fox says, hi, K-pop. Oh, I didn't have anything left to respond. Who am I going to choose? Who am I going to date tonight? Who's it going to be? I'm going to choose... Ray says, you're hot. I'm going to choose Freddy. I'm going to choose Freddy. Lock, don't expose me. Hello, Toso. Yeah, it was that girl from yesterday. That woman from yesterday who I approached at the anime convention. These are actual people. These are the players. And they don't just message me, they message each other. That's what I like about this. It's like seeing everyone talk about each talk like to each other. It's funny. Unsaid messages are lost forever. Hurry up. Device, pick the one person you hope you're did she touch you? Yeah, she did. Anyway. Like Alright, who do I choose? Fine, ignore me then. You know, let's get some pity date going on with Saucy Fox. There we go. <coughs> Alright, I'm dating Saucy Fox. It's settled. Hey, I know. It's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, okay, let's see who tricked who. I mean, who picked who. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is yeah. just the first night. I'm going to eat those left leftovers from the date with Amber. I don't want to eat Amber's meal just because... Oh, man. Yeah, this doesn't look good. I'm not going to eat these. I'm throwing these away. Or I'm leaving them in the fridge. I don't know. 
These don't. I don't. I don't really like these curries. Oh no! Sorry, CS. Sorry about that, CS. Freddy says, "I'm flattered. Thank you." Yeah. Was she just a one night thing? No, I want to stay in contact with her. Stay right there. There's more. I don't know. Maybe it's not possible. Maybe I'm just like wishful thinking. Maybe it's just because today I'm enthusiastic. You thought that one little message was going to work, huh? See, I bought this milk, this yogurt milk beverage on the day I arrived. I don't know if it's still good. It's probably not still good. I don't know. December 11, 2018, but I opened it. Let's see if it's still good. What's her name? Her name is Sharina. Yeah, I think it's still good. know this ends badly. You thought that one little message was going to work. I remember why I didn't finish it. I don't like it too much. It's too sour. First night. It would be weird to have a score. It tastes like cheese. Event, but we do it have wasn't a amber. At this but what event. happened here? Anyway, they wait next for the member anyway. It looks like you're doing the best. And oh, I am. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. Show us her. And every night after that, uh, the same for the I think you can see. Let's see. Monster. I think Chocolate. Uh, I think Chocolate posted a timestamp with her in the chat. She seemed disappointed when you. Now that we know how. I don't think she was disappointed. I didn't. I didn't sense anything. Messages. I mean, she already got. Alright, whatever. It's gonna be kind of awkward to talk about. I don't know. Go well with my five dollars. Thank you, Maiden Max. It's not really the five dollars, but just like the gesture, you know. So you're my second member ever. It's like it's pretty special, it might be. Remember our first? Oh my god. And hey, if you need to block another player from messaging you, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, your you orange polo had me going wild. Alright, Landry. <laughs> Alright, I already know who I'm dating. Doesn't even matter. We're gonna reciprocate. We're gonna, you know, make back lo lost time. We're gonna make back lost time. Yeah. Or maybe not. Only 20 seconds left. Let's do it. I give it a let's do it to everyone. I'm picking so, Andrew. Yes, Andrew Lucas, you are the one. There we go. Second chance B. Wanna go out? Yeah. Hooray. Oh, looks like someone was hoping this date wouldn't work out. This is the most recent VOD. Thank you, Toso. You're mad, cool doing the oh uh, thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, Sebastian. Yay. Hooray. Very, very good. And this means rejection. Oh. Uh, extra lonely heart over there. Sorry, CS. What's the time? It is 12:28. We know in the morning. I mean, in the evening. Okay. What's the well, time on the vod? Changed any of the standings. Oh yeah. Ooh, things are moving. 
Don't forget, from now on... You can just go to the very end of the vibe. The anime theater. convention vibe. Let's see your monster vibe. Jesus, wasn't that... The, the, it was called... I forget what the name The creep earns was. a bonus heart for every player they reject. But only on nights they successfully get a date. Well, yeah, no, it was a good you shirt. That again, whenever you want on your device by hitting the three minute VOD from earlier today. Screen. The same goes for three minute stream. Yeah, no, thank you, Toso. All right, who's gonna date who? Oh, just an FYI, there's a full moon out tonight. Maybe that affects you. Wait, what's this about baiting donuts? What happened? Check your monster ID if you can't. What remember. happened? Yeah, thank you, Sebastian. Anyway. Whoa, oh no, my god. What happened? Oh gosh. That's scary. Oh, a quick word of advice. Sometimes, if your conversation is really, really funny, a person will want to date you just so they I'm can see very it on the screen. It's worth a try. Handsome now. At my. Alright. Boom. I like. I really like where things lead to. I'm a new person now. It's over, Andy. Boom. Hello, Javier. Good to see you. What do you think of the recent news, Javier? Finally had sex for the first time. How about you show me that? L all right, thank you, Freddy. A little, all right, bussy, I guess. You gotta One save time and call it bussy. All right. Your hands smell like my face. If Saucy Fox says I agree, so I'm gonna be dating Saucy Fox in this game now. Boom. Yes, that is true. That is a black girl. Okay, right. as you look at us, ouch. Yeah. Yeah. See, like my face looks different here, and. See that? I look different. I'm a new person now. It's over, Andrew. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Okay, time's up. All right. There we have it. Once again, it's time to pick your date. The excitement is almost bringing me back to life. Hello, Temper. Good to see you. Beautiful. I think so you wanted to... All right, we're dating Saucy Fox now. Boom. Hey, Perfect. I know, it's hard to choose. Game has a lot of... What's going on here? Hello, Lock Lock. Yeah, thank you, Javier. Game. Look at that, look at how I'm holding this. This icebreaker, <laughs> this icebreaker container. It's like I magic. Didn't pick a day. Oh, oh never mind. A heart penalty. Okay. Someone's shouting outside. Hello, Toso. Good to see you. When's the wedding? Oh no. Stick around. Yes, Javier. For you. Got a thing for me, I see. Yes, what it do? I want to continue this relationship. Tell Mar. I'm going to Aruba. Come with me. Buy me a ticket. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Yes. How is that rejecting what's going on here, Red? Shawana wants a little saucy box. Yay! Ooh! Scary! Ooh! Oh no, bait and switch. That was a bait and switch. Let's see what's what now. Oh, fun. Things are happening. You're the highest unrevealed player, so let's Anyway, see. once this game is done, I'm ending the stream. Monster Hunter! <laughs> catfish, that's right. They got At catfish. The the game, the he turned into Burger the way Bjorn describes him. The oh my god. No. Alright. Whoa. Yeah, night four. Let's check this Keep out. Your eye on that full moon. Keep an eye on the full moon. Get to messaging. Alright, we're messaging. Uh, hello. Uh, let's do... K. 
can we make up? I can show you the old shrill otter. There we go. Let's see how Andrew responds. Because I think we still have a chance, you know? I rejected him, but, you know, we can still come back to, again, to each other. We can still come back. Let's make love and jealous. Sure, baby, I love you. <laughs> you come back. All right. It's already settled, but maybe we'll date someone else. I don't even know. Let's act. Let's. I bailed on you, but we'll get it on regardless tonight. But we'll get it on tonight. Tonight. Boom. Seconds. Poor Vince, what's going on here? Scamming Vince, oh, oh no. Do the free TTS. Don't want to read. Alright, let's get some free TTS going. Let's have a little free TTS session. That's what we should do. Okay, my lover, let's do oh, this. Sorry. Time's Brandon. Up. What are you doing? All right, it's time to put dates. Yo, is a super seducer, really. <laughs> As a voluminous nose blow. No longer. I got. I blew my nose. Some of it got into my mouth. Hey, I know it's hard to choose, but if you don't pick, let's get some free anyone, TTS going. Severely penalized. Penalized. Let's All right, speechchat.com. We got some free TTS going. I've never done it before on this map. We'll see how it goes. Hey, what's up? What's up, Jacob? Sebastian? I didn't go to Instagram. You never. Sp oh, sorry about that. I really bad at. Con All right, we're gonna log into speech chat. Hold on, I got a sensor. Do a little censoring right here. Look at this tiny thing here. Uh, we're gonna just leave it like that as I log in and get some free TTS going. All right. Just just minor inconveniences as I'm setting up free TTS at the moment. We are getting this done real quick. We log in. We log in right here. And we get this going allow. We're getting free TTS being set up. Don't do free. No, we're going to set up free TTS perfectly. All right, is this going? Yes. All right, free TTS should be going now. Perfect. Let's let's show the screen again. Because I had to log into my account. All right, you sure did. Congrats, KPOP. Green heart I saw you meet her walking around the con. Mode. Thank you. you the yes. It went well. Penal eyes. Subscribe to Hive Man Yes, you should. It's not clickbait, it's true. And like, I'm still riding off that high. I'm glad about it. I'm, it's exciting. <laughs> Alright. Alright, what's going on here? Alright, I think the game is done. I don't think anyone's following the game. I don't think people care too much about this. Oh no, I think I'm just gonna end the game. How about that? Oosh. Today, today. Alright, let's. That's. Uh, to Lonely Island. Alright, we're gonna do that. Video capture device. If Hoffman's left in China, he said he needs you to go home so you guys can stream together. All right, boom. Blacked. How did you lose it? Hello. I'm on my laptop right now. All right, okay. How did the black peach taste? When uh, I actually asked to eat her out, but she said she's like self-conscious about her vagina. So, uh, I didn't want to cause any problems. So, yeah. 400 viewers showed up for free TTS. Ice just ended. Oh, he did. Story time. I want to uh, I can tell the story again. I guess I'll just tell it again because I think a lot of people were watching Ice at the time. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's gonna take a while. I don't know. I'm 21. I'm 21. Problem is, after that's all, Tori Master only for the host. 
Congrats. Now she will move on to the next version. Thank you. You lost your V-I-G-I-R-N-I-A. No yes, I did. A virgin. All right. Okay. So I guess the oops. Ooh, Ooh I'm on my laptop time. right now. Okay. So I guess yeah. the story yeah. is that yeah. I met her yesterday yeah. at the yeah. anime yeah. convention. Compliment her vagina. Uh, then ask. Play Doki Doki next time. I guess I, I could do that. Just go for it. Did you fuck her in the ass? Must have been. Uh, no, I did not. I did pop not end up doing that. Me a pop that. fist, me a pop fist, me a pop fist, me a pop first, me a pop fist, me a yes, pop fist, me a pop fist. I should. Fist, but anyway, so I I well approached her at the anime story. convention, and we went to get drinks afterward, and it went well, and uh, she gave me her number, and we decided to meet up again to watch anime together because I have not seen enough anime. So we did that. Make me mob. Wow. I should. But yeah, no, I actually had to reserve a different hotel than this one because Allie was sleeping here too. I don't want to go to the Shrill Otter subreddit because there's an appreciation thread for Allie. This is how it really goes. Let me guess. Hookers. Turn no. Free TDS. I should. You are telling the story, bro. Yeah. Yes. Should probably Thanks do that. for retelling. Don't say the whole story again. Try to make it sound simple. This okay. So I had to. I actually made a reservation for another hotel because my roommate was sleeping here. Go to the show Otter subreddit and upload, vo upvote that. You know, post a comment in that appreciation thread because I think Ali really is the person to thank. Because otherwise, I would have not gone to Atlanta. But Ali's gone now. Anyway, we went. Uh, I I reserved another hotel. So I had two hotels at the same time. But you know, it's it was worth it for the privacy. It was worth it. ISIS stream ends and shrill gets 400 more viewers but did you come Met her at the all right anyway uh yeah so uh she arrived with her laptop and we plugged it in and she brought uh coconut rum and these jamaican jamaican juices so uh, she made drinks and uh we watched different animes we watched my hero academia we watched uh, Black something, Black Clover. We watched, uh, what's it called? Uh, we watched, uh, mm, what was it? I forget. It was called something. Uh, it was called uh, a Kawaii Complex. That was a very funny one. I told her I was into comedy, so she chose that one. And then there was also just a number of other ones. There were five total. We watched the first episode. We watched the first episode of each one. And then we narrowed it down to three. All right, I got to turn off free TTS. Sorry about that. Every but, shut turning me off. Dude need right. girls or best girls. You're right, I'm turning off sorry about that. Bathroom, you know. All right. Face mm. rolling on the floor laughing. Okay. Anyway, uh let's see it. Let's see. Let's do this. Hold on. I gotta Okay, so anyway, yeah, so we watched the first episode of each of each of five animes and let's see. The way it went physically as like we were watching it was that alright, if I'm gonna reenact right here. Uh, this is the left side of the bed, and she was sitting here, and I was sitting here. So we were sitting side to side, and she like kind of uh, intentionally like made contact with me. So, so she was like leaning, like I was trying to like lean onto her. I was leaning onto her, and she was like intentionally trying to make sure that we, you know, had some extra physical contact. And like I would like put my hand around her shoulder, or like you know over her shoulder, or like around her uh, waist and stuff, and. Eventually, as we were watching, I think, Hawaii Complex, she said, you know what, you can, just to let you know, you can touch me wherever you want. So that was very clearly a verbal, like, uh, encouragement. So that was what that was. And so that's when I started to, like, I would, like, touch her boob or, like, touch her butt or whatever. Uh, she's, like, and, like, one thing that she did, okay, she's, like, uh, I guess... Maybe because I'm really bad at, like, picking up signals and stuff. She would, like, very overtly, like, when she was reaching into the mini fridge where she put the, uh, the, the coconut rum and the Jamaican drinks, she put them in the mini fridge, and when she was going back to get them up, she would, like, you know, do this. Like, this is not the most comfortable posture, but she was intentionally doing this and stuff. Like, at some point, she even, like, she was even, like, kind of, like, doing this a little bit. She was kind of like, you know, waving it back and forth a little bit. I don't know. It's like kind of a bit of an overt gesture, but I appreciate it because I'm definitely not very good with like signaling and stuff like that here. I got to keep up with chat. But anyway, yes. Touch boob. Touching them booms. Touching that ass. Yes. Touching boob and the butt. Wow, it's actually F. And anyway, so eventually she just said like, you know, I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. It's what she eventually said. You know, she just, eventually she just explicitly told me that. 
but that's that. And let's see, so there was that. And eventually, uh, yeah, so she like made some mixed drinks with the uh, coconut rum and the uh, Jamaican juice. And, you know, we were drinking. She says that she has a very high tolerance. So uh, she was drinking, uh, I don't know if she was ever tipsy or whatever, but I was definitely, uh, I'm a lightweight. So I was definitely a little bit uh, tipsy is what I would say. But never like super drunk because anyway, I'm, I'm still getting over like a sore throat and stuff. So I wanted to stay hydrated and things like that. So I made sure to drink water, which she brought too. She like was really prepared and everything. So if you're watching, you know, I'm like, I'm like doing this. I got my arm this, I'm like kind of leaning back with my hand this way, the TV's over there. Eventually we get into this other position where she brings the pillows over here. This is the end of the bed and the TV's up there. She brings the pillows here and she is, I think, like this. I think she's, she's like this, I think. And then I decide, no, no, she, she's lying like this. She's like lying like this. I guess what she's doing. And I lie next to her like this. Once again, she's sort of like, both of the watch are like intentionally making up. Uh, and the TV's up there. And pics so detailed. Well, yeah, I'm just kind of giving a rundown. I can't really sort of, you know, editorialize it because it's still new in my brain. I'm just sort of describing what happened. But yeah, I'm lying like this. And we're sort of like leaning into each other. So there's like a lot of, not skin contact because we're wearing clothes, but you know, there's a lot of direct contact, which is, you know, kind of intentional on both of our parts. And so like, so her head's over here. And so I'm just sort of like, I guess like, I don't know, basically feeling her up. I don't know. It's like, once again, I, this is, I'm not used to physical intimacy. This is something that's new to me. I'm not used to this sort of thing. So it's obviously like, I'm just trying to do what I know you're supposed to do. And so I'm just like feeling her up as we're watching, almost like I'm petting a cat. I don't really know. I don't even really know. But that's what's happening there. Let's see, Paul Amber, she's crying. I don't know, probably. Did you eat her out? I will get to that. I'll actually get to that. And like, cause I'm trying to make this chronological, right? Like I, I definitely want to like remember all these different uh, things and they're coming to me at different points of time, but I don't want to tell them out of order. So I don't want to jump through time because that's kind of confusing. So anyway, yeah, so I'm doing that. And eventually uh, we get into the uh, position where we are. Let's see, what happened after this? I'm trying to remember what happened after this. Eventually, I think, let's see, we were watching uh, Kawaii Complex. Maybe someone who already watched the, watched the uh, me telling a story can remember, because I'm having trouble remembering what happened later. But either way, you know, we started uh, making out, I think is what happened. Like, I think we're both sitting. I don't remember how we got from, like, lying down in this position to sitting. But I think we're doing that. And then... I asked her, like, how am I going to take off your top? Like, it's, I don't even remember what her, t like, I couldn't really remember how to, like, I remember she was wearing a certain top. I don't even remember, really remember, but it was like showing cleavage or something. But I was asking, how am I going to tell take off your top? And she said, I'll take out my top. So she does it. She's wearing a bra underneath. And uh, I decide, I tell her, I'm going to take out my shirt. So I'm without my shirt, and she's wearing a bra. And I think we are kind of, I think cuddling on the bed. I don't even remember. What was the link? I said, oh, that's a good point. Anyway, so that's what happened. I gotta blow my nose again because I have a runny nose. But yeah, uh, that is what happened. I'm trying to remember. But either way, eventually, I think over the next two hours or so, as we're watching um, Kawaii Complex and uh, Don't You Know I'm Nakamoto, or Sakamoto is what it is, yeah, and some other animes. It was like five of them. We narrowed it down to three and there was Black Clover. And anyway, I'm eventually, like over the course of two hours, I think eventually I'm just wearing, I am just wearing my boxer briefs, the gray boxer briefs. They look like this. And I actually, I feel, I feel more confident when I'm wearing boxer briefs. I don't know what it is. Like, I just like how they sort of fit my shape or whatever. But that's, I don't know, and I like this color, to, uh, you know, we're done with that. But I like this color, too. And anyway, so I'm just wearing that, and I think she's just wearing uh, her underwear. So that's just bra and panties, I think. And we're, like, 
basically spooning at this point. I think in this position, I think I'm like this with a pillow here. And it's actually hard to read the subtitles. It actually got easier to understand the anime when we were watching Black Clover and uh, My Hero Academia because we were watching the dubs. So that way I didn't have to read anything. This is hard to do it upside down. And the TV's over there. You know, there's my quote, I guess. And that's my catchphrase, apparently, today. And eventually, she starts just, like, feeling my underwear, like, in the front center region, you know. And, and it's, you know, it's, you know, like that. And she asks, can I reach, can I feel under your underwear? So she does that. She actually doesn't feel under my underwear. She just pulls it down. And that, and she's just feeling there. And eventually, she asked me if I, let's see, I forget what she, what happened. Uh, but anyway, and then she sucked my dick. That's what happened. All right. Yes, here, let's keep up with chat. <laughs> Center region. Are you trying to watch anime during sex? Well, actually, it's kind of the other way around. Are we having sex while watching anime? Kind of, you know, it's not like one within the other. It's the other within one. Anyway, yeah, let's keep up with chat here. Front center region inflated. Uh, yes, uh, how, yeah, eventually, yeah, and she's, like, really good at it, that's, like, the first thing that I noticed, is that, like, she knows all these, like, different techniques and stuff, and, like, I was telling her, oh, my God, you're so good at this, I can't believe it, also, when, after I take out my shirt, she says that I have a beautiful body, which makes you feel really good, but I res immediately responded by saying, and you have a beautiful body, too, and, you know, it was good, anyway, yeah, but, yeah, she said that, like, she, actually bought these books. Like, she has, like, a mini library, I'm assuming. I don't even know, but, like, she has these books about sex, and they, like, have these diagrams, or maybe photos, I don't even know, but I need to ask her which books they are, because I need one of those books. I think it's for, for people of any sex, I don't even know, but I'm sure I should be able to, like, learn something from there. Maybe I can learn also how to, you know, suck a dick as well, you know? That would probably, you know, help me as well. But anyway, uh, yeah, so she's actually, like, really good. Like, she knows all these different techniques and stuff, you know? She's, like, cycling between different things that she's doing. And yeah, and yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, yes. Uh, was it the black girl? Yeah, it was the girl from yesterday that I approached at the convention yesterday. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit too tall for this camera, I'm noticing. Maybe she just tilted it up because this is a laptop, but anyway, yeah. So what's happening here is that Kama Sutra, I guess so. Thank you, Ben Godfrey. Yeah, WTF, you okay, bro? <laughs> Those spats. Those spats also <laughs> Okay, thank you, Andrew Lucas. Yeah, Andrew, I got to see you again. It was great, like, kissing you in Alabama. But anyway, uh, yeah. Just because you got a BJ doesn't mean you lost your virginity. Yeah, the story isn't done yet. You got to wait till the story is done. You got to wait till it's finished before you make an assumption like that. Anyway. Yeah, so that's what happened. Uh, I think I was like lying in this direction. It's good that Allie's kind of out of the hotel now because now I can do this. And like I'm lying in this direction and like she's sort of straddling with me like that. I'm naked, but I think she also is too at this point. But yeah, after that, uh, I didn't come, but anyway, after that, she, yeah, she came twice, spoiler alert, says Khalil Hales, but anyway, yeah, anyway, so what happened after that was then she asked me if I brought a condom, which I did, so I opened it, I actually told her that I had brought, bought, like, multiple different brands and stuff, I don't really know which one's the best one, so I tried one, she, uh, put it on with her mouth, I asked her to put it on because I heard that that's what you're supposed to do, I don't know, once again, I don't know anything, but that's what she said, I mean, that's what, people have been telling me to do. So she put it on uh, with her mouth. Once again, probably learned that from the book. I don't know, but I guess she, uh, it was good. And she put it on. And then the first thing we did was missionary. And I feel awkward. I mean, like, it just felt like so arbitrary doing it. I think we were in this position. I felt like I was just doing a plank. It's like her head is like here. It's like at, like the top of her head is like at my chin level. It's just, you know, normally, normally, like you're when you're standing next to someone, your feet are what align because your feet are both on the floor. But instead, what's aligning is the you know 
pelvis region, right, when you're doing that. So it's a little bit different. Uh, and so yeah, her head is like here. Like the top of her head is here. It's just like kind of unusual. And like the first thing I notice is that it's not really, like when I see like the movies and stuff, like they're like thrusting like, like in a very clear cut motion. But when I was doing it, I felt like, like the motion that she sort of said, you know, that's good, keep doing that. I felt was like very arbitrary. Like I felt like I was just kind of like, just like kind of like not really moving that much. Like I wasn't even sure if I was moving. Just like felt like I wasn't, I was hardly moving at all. I don't know. It was just like kind of weird. And I guess it's because like in the movies, they try to like exaggerate the motion. So it's like more clear to see. It's like more, more straightforward or like more linear or something, you know? Cause you can't really, it doesn't like show up on the camera too well. So that's what's happening there. Anyway, she was on the, yeah, she was on the bed. That's what's happening here. We're just doing this, it doesn't even matter. I mean, we're leaving this hotel tomorrow. I don't even know. But yeah, that's what's happening yeah, in the movies. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's what's happening there. And she, I think she orgasms once. Uh, I'm not really feeling that much just because, I guess this is with a condom on. I don't know what to expect. Because once again, this is my first time. I don't really know. But yeah, uh, that's that. I think it's during this position. I think I got it wrong the first time I told the story, but I think it's during this position she says like, oh yeah, do the mushroom tip. I don't even know what that means, but I think that means like to do the kegel, you know, squeezing thing. I think it means to like do the kegel squeezing, so I do that. And she's like, oh, that's so much better. Oh, oh my God. And yeah. So like, yeah, give me the mushroom tip, I think. Or like do the, bring the mushroom tip, I think what she said. It's like, I've never heard that before. What does that even mean? This is like kind of unusual. Quality bad. Yeah, this is a 12 inch MacBook here. Get a look at this. This is the setup right now. That's what that's what you're watching this on. This is a laptop. This is a laptop uh, camera right here. So that's what you're seeing at the moment. Oh, look at that. That's some inception right there. That's what you're seeing. Not the best streaming setup. I don't even think I have my my microphone anymore. I was searching. I thought I put it in my. Uh, yeah, you can't see it because it's just so such low light. But I put it in my suitcase, and it's not there anymore. I don't know where else it could be. I'm starting to think it might have gotten yoinked, but I don't even know. Either way, it's only like $60, so I'll just get another one. I don't know. But not great to have lost that thing. That's kind of disappointing, because then I could give you like some ASMR, some ASMR uh, reenactment. This could have been a very beautiful um, description of what happened, because then it would be so much more enjoyable to listen to, because it would be ASMR. But that's what's happening there. Yeah, anyway, so that's missionary. Uh, mushroom head. Uh, didn't feel much, and uh, she came once. Anyway, yeah, uh, it was it was exciting. I don't know. I'm just like glad that it happened. But yeah, let me get that mushroom mushroom tip. Yeah, that's right, Tony Lover. Uh, Freddie asks, what happened? Did she know you were a virgin? She did not. Uh, I just like went with the flow. She never really asked it. I just felt like it would be kind of random to bring it up. I don't know. But yeah, either way, I'm just sort of thought about that. Uh, delete. Vod if pregnant. All right, thank you for that, Foster. But anyway, so that's that. And then, so I'm like this. She's facing for me like that. And eventually we decide to change positions. So then we're doing doggy style. She doesn't call it that. She's like, oh, do you like this position? A lot of guys like this position. And it's like very visual. I didn't, I was surprised like how visual it was because I thought, I thought like, I thought that missionary would be like the most visual because like you're seeing the front of the person. But no, especially if you're taller than them, it's like you just see the top of their head. It's just kind of like not that great if you're taller than them. But yeah, so like this is a lot better. And like I was surprised. Like I thought I was afraid like it was gonna break something because like the first like after the first few like strokes, I don't know, was like she like I slipped out of her and she had to put it back. And I realized how easy that was to happen. So during the whole time, I was like, I was, that's her whole body mass moving as she's in this, you know, as she's in this position, uh, as she's in this position, she's like, like doing this, it's her whole body mass. And I was afraid I was gonna slip out 
and then like it would snap or something because like her whole body mass is like thrusting against me. It's like so hard to stay inside. It's like hard to tell if I'm in or out. Can't even tell. And so like that was going on, and that actually felt a lot. Honestly, that was when I came. That was when I came because it was a lot better. Like it just honestly felt. I don't know. I don't know what it was. And she was also starting. It was also because she was like doing the kegel thing too. She was like, I think I'll grip harder or something. I don't even remember what she said, but she did that, and that was like surprising. See, did why do you poke a hole in the column? That's a good question. I did not though. Thank you, Lock Lock, for asking that. Uh, how was she? What was she doing? Yeah. So the thing that I really liked about this compared to uh, with Amber was that, I, uh, like, I feel good that this happened because it like it wasn't awkward at all. It was actually just like a fun experience. That's what I liked about it was that. It was just like us having fun. That's why, like, it was mutual, and I didn't like. I don't know. It just, it was. It didn't feel like a transaction, or like something that was like required to be done. It was just like mutually enjoyable, and she was having fun, and I was having fun. That's what I liked about it. But anyway, uh, Pixar. That's a good, that's a good point. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's a good point. Uh, X battle double X. Anyway, so that's, so that was, that was, I guess, doggy style. Very visual. I was afraid I was going to snap. It was kind of scary, but more enjoyable for me, I guess. And that was that. And let's see, I was trying to remember what happened. Oh, yeah, so then I told her that I came. And kind of immediately after that, I said, you know what? I'm down for a second round. So and she was like, I was actually kind of surprised that she was like pleasantly surprised by that. She was like, oh, most guys aren't like that. I don't know. But either way, uh, I feel like, I mean, that's kind of like, if you leave, I feel like if most guys were like, that's kind of surprising to me because like, I don't know. I don't know. It's my first time. So I just can't imagine like leaving immediately. It just doesn't seem right to me. I don't know. But I, she was friendly surprised by that, and also like I, most things I've read about like people who have sex is that after you come, it's like shameful. After the man is done, it's like, it's like I'm so sorry, uh, I premature or whatever, you know, or something like that. It's like supposed to be shameful or something, but it didn't feel that way. Like why can't it just be fun? I don't know. So I was kind of glad about that. Round two, fight. Anyway, yeah. Thank you, uh, Dawn, for that. He was excited because of the dope. No, it was a number of hours ago. She had to leave at right around 9 p.m., so it was before that. So that was that. That was that. So then we went back to just watching the anime. Once again, the TV's there. So at this point, we're spooning like this. We're spooning, you know. If this, this is where the big spoon is. This is where the little spoon is. But it's a little bit different this time because we're spooning all naked, and that's kind of interesting. I don't know. At that point, we're still watching, I think, watching Black Clover at that time. And I have to say, the main character of Black Clover seemed kind of similar to the main character of uh, my hero, Mono No Hero Academia. Mono No Hero Academia. Like, they're kind of similar. They got a very similar voice actor, at least in the dubs. We were just watching the dubs. And it's like, they can't do magic. They're short. They're, like, stubborn. They have, like, a big poof of spiky hair. And... I don't know, they're cute or whatever, I don't know. But, like, they're, they're really similar, and I, that's, like... And they come... The two animes come out at the same time, so that's kind of new to me. I'm like, what is going on? It's kind of hard to tell them apart. I don't know. But that's that, and we're watching it, and... Yeah, that goes on for about, I think, an hour or so, until, uh... Eventually... Like, like surprisingly long. And, like, we're just talking. We're just, like, having conversation for just that amount of time after watching the anime. And then... And then what happens is then we start making out again. And I guess, like, we're warming up again is what's happening. Once again, I don't know anything. It's, like, very new to me. So that's that. Better than Caroline, BTW. You take at... No, I did not. I did not. It's, like, it's kind of a lot of pressure when, like, all these people are flooding in. And I have to, like, make sure I'm telling this right. Especially since I'm telling this the second time. I better do a better job this time. But anyway. Yeah, thank you, though. Yeah. Do you donkey punch her? That's a good question. But, yeah. Anyway. I put on the, oh yeah, and then she, you know, we do the fellatio uh, activity again, and uh, once again, she's still really good at it, but 
Uh, it's still good. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what was different. It wasn't really that different. Yeah. So once again, I'm in like this position, like this, and she's like straddling me like that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. But yeah, and then once again, I ask her if I can eat her out because I just don't feel right. It's like not reciprocal. It's like so, it's like so asymmetrical. I don't know. It's like she's like doing this for me. I feel like I should do the same for her. But she once again she says no because she feels like self conscious about her vagina, which you know I'm not going to like. I'm like I'm like I telling her that I I don't really see what you're like there is to be self-conscious about but I respect that and uh, if you don't want to do it then we won't do it but anyway yeah so then uh, I put on another condom actually no she puts it on Let's see two fi all right hello uh, better all right thank you Thanos but anyway yeah yeah she doesn't have an Instagram uh, anyway uh, what happens is that let's see I got a time issue these shoes I want to talk about these shoelaces for a second. I want to talk about these shoelaces for a second. These uh, Pharrell Williams shoes come with the most hose-like shoelaces ever. They come apart way too easily. These are these Pharrell Williams shoelaces. These shoes. Like, they. I like how they look. It's just, I wish, oh, and this one's coming apart too, yeah. I like how they look. It's just... The shoelaces have no friction. I want to get more... I don't know if anywhere sells... Bell, beige shoelaces because it's annoying how easily they come apart. Anyway, so uh, she puts on another condom, once again with her mouth, and she says, oh, this one also tastes bad too. I'm like, I, I tried a different, I got a different brand of condoms too. I guess they all taste bad, but she says, you gotta get a flavored one because any of them that are not flavored will always taste bad. So that makes sense. And I gotta remember that for next time. Gotta remember that for next time. Yeah. Hello, Aria. Is Aria here? Real BuzzFeed Annie, take your shoes off of the bed. Oh, that's a good point. Double, I don't know, I want to be able to untie it like at a moment's notice too. So, that's the conundrum. I just gotta get frictiony shoelaces. Gotta be frictiony, gotta grip well, gotta stay tied, exactly. Anyway, yeah, so she puts it on another condom and this time, I guess, I described it as like, similar to doggy style, except instead of her being like this, she's just like this. So it's like missionary, except instead of her, like this, she's like this. Or maybe arms like in the front. It's kind of like a corpse when it's like this. So probably like like you know like this or something. Or, you know this or anything, like doing homework or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, so she's like that. And anyway, uh, that was all right. I don't know. She left. She like kept having to like do this. I guess like to get her butt out of the way or something. You know. So I, there was like more reach or whatever. She kept kind of doing this. Maybe it just wasn't long enough. I don't know, but like she kept having to do that. But that was also all right too. And she said that she enjoyed that as well. So that was good too. But then after that was done, uh, we watched a bit more anime. And uh, I think that was it. I think that was it. Do you have the camera recording? I did not have the I did not have the camera recording. I don't know what you could be referring to. How long did you last? I don't know. Like, it's weird. I was kind of worrying about that. I was thinking about the same thing, too. But, like, I feel like in the moment, it just really didn't matter that much. Like, it, I just feel like it didn't really matter that much. It was, like, more about communication and enjoying it together. I was, like, I was surprised. I'm, like, glad about that because, I don't know, some things really turn into, like, a competition or a measurement thing. But really, it's just, like, I was just glad that it was just, like, a fun activity, like a group activity or, you know, a pair duo activity. I don't know. It was like, I was glad that it was like that because otherwise it just, I don't know, wouldn't have been as enjoyable. So that was good. That was good. We both had fun and I liked how it turned out. It was great. And I hope to stay in contact with her. I don't know. She says she's going to be going to Chicago and I want to go to Chicago to meet Ness and yeah. Hello, Aria. There's some research that ideal length is usually five to ten minutes for women. All right. Thank you, BuzzFeed Andy. Uh, thank you, Aria. Aria, I mean, Aria. I've been saying Aria, too. There's, like, too many variations, too many incorrect variations that I've been saying. But, yeah. Thank you, uh, Aria. I love how happy you are, man. Congrats. Thank you, Aria. Aria. Thank you, Aria. I appreciate that. I mean, it's great. And, man, if I were not using my 
I, my, using my laptop webcam, I would show the beautiful view of the outside, but yeah, it doesn't show up very well. It doesn't show up very well. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful outside, and I feel like that's fitting. I feel like that's fitting. So that's that, and my name is actually Aria, and that's the right way to pronounce it. Thank you, Tiny Lover. Yeah, there you go. No longer in style. Feels bad. I don't know what you mean. Feels bad. But yeah, thank you for that complex box head, and that's that. How long in between were they? Yeah, the two, I guess, sessions. The two, I don't know. Yeah, two sessions were like, maybe, I don't even remember the time. It was probably either one to two hours apart. <sighs> probably two hours apart, I think. <sighs> or maybe it was one hour apart, I don't remember. But yeah, no, let me look up the animes that we watched. We watched Seven Deadly Sins and that Assassination Classroom. That's right, I like Assassination Classroom. I like the... I like the, like the dynamic they have with the teacher. It reminds me of BFB, if you've seen that on YouTube. But uh, haven't you heard I'm Sakamoto? That was cool. That was funny. A little, I mean, it was good. But anyway, we also watched The Kawaii Complex, My Hero Academia, and Black Clover. So those were the animes we watched. We watched the first episode of all of them, then we narrowed it down to three, which ended up being Black Clover, My Hero Academia, and Kawaii Complex. And then we, eventually we just kept watching Kawaii Complex. So that was that. There we have it. There we go. Wow, you lost it long. I don't know. It's just like, I'm just so glad it was like more than like the stuff that people talk about. Where it's like, oh, I don't know how long it lasts. How long? How many strokes? Do we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I, I, my, my number was like 50% down from last time. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading the wrong places then. But yeah, there we go. So that was that. And that was fun. So I guess that was the description. Maybe I should just end the stream. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to be leaving Atlanta tomorrow. Once again, I really have to thank Allie for this. Ali. That's why we have a two bedroom hotel room right here. It's because, it's because of him that I even came to Atlanta. Originally I was just going to stay in Auburn, Alabama, but I didn't even want to go to, to, to Atlanta, but I've had so many great experiences here. And it's because of him pressuring me continuously that we decided that, you know, I decided that we're going to go to Atlanta. He drove me here. He like on the first day, I think on the second, first entire day that we were here, he we like went to, he bought a suit. He bought like a, this blazer, like this $500 suit and, or $500 blazer, I think, I don't even remember. And he went to a club, like, and that was his first time going to a club. Like it's crazy how much like Ice Stream, he talked about how Ice Stream like improved his life so much. Like he's lived, after coming from Kuwait four years ago, he talked about like how he was uh, like a total, like, I don't know. All right, you know what, I gotta pick the right word. He was like a total, uh, introvert, like a total, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember the word, like, loner, I don't know. And, like, he talked about how Ice Stream, like, helped him, like, worry less about being nervous and, like, how you just got to get over it and, like, approach girls at the club, you know, like, do things where you're interacting with people and sort of getting over that fear. Did you tip her? Very funny. Well, we did buy Uber Eats. I ate the rest of the Uber Eats. I actually ate the rest of it. This is, in the, this is from the trash can, but I ate the rest of it. And I ate it. I ate it during the stream, actually. I ate it during the stream. But yeah, no, it's because of Allie. Once again, go to the Shrill Otter, go to the r slash Shrill Otter Reddit and just subscribe to it because honestly, you got to see that. I don't know, you got to see that appreciation thread. Let's go to it right now. Let's go to that appreciation thread right now because I just want to leave a comment. Reddit.com slash r slash Shrill Otter. Boom. Like that. Boom, boom, boom. Loading. Yes, there we go. Let's, uh, all right. I would log into a different account, but this Ellie appreciation thread honestly is long overdue because I think he's a funny guy and I want to meet him again. It's like really bittersweet because he had to leave. He took off uh, while I was out of the hotel. So when he came back today, tonight, uh, the hotel room was empty and all his stuff was gone. His bed was like pristine and clean. I kind of, I kind of tarnished it a bit. I kind of, you know, stepped on it with my shoes and stuff. This was his bed. But, yeah, it was, like, bittersweet, and I wanted to meet with him again. That was that. Yeah, Kanye West tab. I don't remember. That's that. There we go. Hello? Yeah. Leave me a comment soon. He's a good guy. I told you he grew on me. Yeah, no. Once again, uh, I guess, I guess, yeah, Ali is, like, I'm just so glad that I met him. Are you going to furry context? I could. I don't know. I'm... 
I don't know, I'm into the furry art too, so, you know, I think that would be good to, like, meet artists and stuff. Once again, like, a fursuit is, like, a lot of effort. It's, like, it takes a lot of craft, and I think that needs appreciation. Because I went to anime, the anime weekend yesterday, and, like, I, sh and, like, I saw these cars that were all fully decked out in, like, these decals, like, entire hood covered up by this, like, anime art. I was like, that's crazy. Like, imagine just the amount of effort that went into it and the amount of craftsmanship, like, with multiple people too, because you got to have an artist, you got to have, like, an auto expert who knows how to apply the decals. It's, like, clearly something that requires multiple lifetimes of learning and skill to, to do. And I think the same thing applies to fursuits and to, like, any other art. Like, any artist alley at a convention, and I just, like, want to show, you know, I don't know, I just, like, want to just go there just to, like, experience like meet these people who like do this amazing stuff. I don't know, but that's that. And there we go. And there we have it. Yeah. So uh, that was that was Anime Weekend Atlanta. I definitely recommend going to Atlanta. I really just I don't know. I've kind of fallen in love with the city in a way. And it's not because of the 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 women that I met. But yeah, there we go. And I don't know. It's like because of Ali that this incredible. I don't know. All these things happened. I'm just surprised. There we go. And that's that. So I guess I don't really have anything more to say. I'm going to Minneapolis tomorrow, and we're going to see the last week of... Thank you for the super chat, Hisham. Might want to get an STD check. She looked gross AF. Well, I don't think looking gross is really a good way to tell someone has an STD, but I definitely recommend I definitely agree, and I think that everyone should get STD checks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nasty just, just, you know, to say stay. But anyway, yeah, so that's that, and I'm going to go to the last weekend, the final weekend of the Renaissance Festival uh, in Minneapolis, and I'm excited to do that, and I'm going to be meeting a viewer there, which is going to be really exciting. Still going to Minnesota, re... Sorry about that, Jenny. Wait, well, why don't you want me to go to Minnesota, Jenny? Oh, right, you wanted me to fly her out to LA. No, I'm going to be going to uh, Minnesota. Also, yes, she has a boyfriend, so that's not really at all. Don't even think about that. I want to go for the Renaissance Festival because I've never been to a Renaissance Festival. She was describing it. She was talking about people yelling at each other, like attendees and like people working there. She said that, that I could work there for like an entire half day, which I'm surprised by. Like, uh, like don't they have an application process? Don't they have like a, like a, I don't know, like a something, like a way to screen people? Because otherwise, I'm like, they're going to be, like, what if an undercover agent like came into the came into the Renaissance Festival and, like, did some bad things or whatever, and, like, they're just like, oh, you gonna work here? Here, just work half a day. And they pay people, too. Like, isn't, doesn't that gonna attract people who, like, aren't able to be hired anywhere else? I don't even understand how it works, which is, like, why I want to come there and, like, experience it. I want to, like, see what it's about. And apparently other streamers have also gone to the uh, Renaissance Festival, so I want to go there, too, because apparently it's stream-friendly. There's interesting people. You get to meet people. And it's the last one of the year. And I also have never been to Minnesota. So that's four reasons. That's four of them. Yeah, so that's that. So there we go. Is TTS on? TTS is not currently on. I'm on a Mac right now. That's horrible. Streamlabs OBS does not work. It's not available for Windows. So I'm on my 12-inch super light MacBook that I always bring when I travel. I have a Windows laptop. I just bring this one because it's like really convenient because it's super light. And you know, form factor is probably the most important thing to me. When you're traveling and stuff. Oh, I can't show how thin it is because the camera turns away. But that's that. It's very, very thin. See that? That's the body of the laptop right there. That's what it looks like. Boom. Just like that. Anyway, yeah. So that's that. Going to Minneapolis tomorrow. We're going to be seeing Minneapolis. If anyone here lives in Minneapolis, definitely want you to stream Snipe and show up. And there we go. Hello, Hazer Rage. I've seen you before. I see you now. It's good to see you. It's beautiful to see you in the chat. There we go. Uh, yeah, Atlanta has a Renaissance Festival too. Oh, it does. Well, I want to see a Minnesota Renaissance Festival. There we have. I mean, I already have my tickets booked, so I don't know. I'm also going to be meeting a viewer there, so that'll be interesting. Stream Cypress going to leech. What is there to leech off of? I want Stream Cypress to come. I don't know what this thing is about leeching because right now it's just like something more interesting. I don't have the energy to always like provide everything myself, so it's good to like have other people show up because then like I feel like I'm making friends. I feel like I'm making friends. And like they get to like provide their input, so it's like it sort of takes a little bit of a load off me. I don't know. Maybe my stream's not just just not that good, but I just like having people show up and like show me the place, especially if they know it already. It's like someone someone else's input. Otherwise, I have to sort of provide everything myself. 
which is really bad if I don't even know the place. So it'll be perfect. You guys can't remember being young and feeling amped. <laughs> All right, thank you, Blizzard Time. You guys can't remember being young and feel amped after hooking up. Thank you, Blizzard Time. Yeah, there we go. Hazer or hates, I only recommend it because you searched, how do I lose my virginity? All right, <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. You come up with the best comebacks. Thank you, Matt Colebuck, for that. There you go. So that is it, and I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. Or in the future. I'll definitely see you when I go to the, the Renaissance Festival. Uh, we'll be seeing other things in Minneapolis. And I will be going on the 1st to uh, back to L.A. On October 1st is when I come back to L.A. I really want to come to Iceland with ice. I will pay for my flight. I'll pay for my lodging. I'll pay for my food. With those things, three three things pay for myself. And other whatever, whatever other costs there are from traveling. But I also want to come to Iceland with ice just because... I've never been to Iceland before. I've heard they have the most conservative Germanic language in the Germanic language family. It's like they're most similar to like some of the old uh, languages in that region. That's kind of interesting. They're the last one to have that like letter that's shaped like, like uh, this, right? Like other Germanic languages had the letter that was shaped like the, the thorn thing or the ev or whatever it is. You know, they have that thing. Like, that's interesting to me. I want to just see the street sign. I want to see the infrastructure. That's kind of interesting to me. But also, I would just want to go to Iceland. And so I will, once again, just ask. And that's the problem because it's, like, easiest to do that when I'm there in person at his house. I feel like it just, like, it wouldn't make, it wouldn't, like, be red. Or, like, I just feel like it isn't, like, as as personal if I just, like... Do it digitally. So I don't know. Yeah. So there you go. Talk to him about it. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Hisham. Go to Denmark to visit the king. I love you, bro. Thank you, Hisham, for the two Canadian dollars. I should go to Denmark, but uh, I feel like I should go there on a special occasion. That's why I also want to go to Iceland, because it's like a special occasion that Ice and Boldesad and uh, Tracksuit Andy and one other person are going to... Iceland? Either way, I will pay for my own lodging and all the costs is associated with that. And so that's why. So I think that's all I have to talk about. I'm trying to remember what other things I wanted to get in before the end of the stream, but that is that. They are visiting TSA also. Okay. Yeah. Either way, I want to come along. So at least, you know, just, I'm not even, I don't even know if I'm going to be streaming then. Just, I just want to, like, travel with them. And also, I don't know. Hopefully contribute to the stream in some way. I just want to do that. I used to think Revol, I feel bad for Ice. Well, either way, yeah. Yeah, that is a good point. Ice is going to be ruined by Broke Malone. Oh, lol, I don't know. Yeah, you can go with Ice. He said anyone can come if they pay for themselves. Oh, shoot. Then I got to ask him which flight it is. And, like, because I don't want to, like, end up at a hotel that's super far away. Or, like, be on a flight that's on a totally different day and stuff. So I'll let me ask them about that. And I guess I will see you guys in the future. I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Atlanta's been great. Auburn, Alabama has been good. I hope to see Allie again. I hope to see Andrew Lucas again. Going to Minneapolis. Going to the Renaissance Festival. Yeah. All right. Okay, so that broke's not going, lol. Good paper, but all right. Anyway, so that's it. So I will see you in the future. Thank you so much. Also, I want to be. Also, I want to like see you guys again. So there we have it. I will see you. Later. Oh, who are we gonna raid? Who are we gonna raid? Let's see uh, who's on IcePoseidon.com. Let's see who's currently streaming so that we can uh, raid them. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else is going on. All right, loading spinning bar. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I guess we're raiding EBZ. There we go. There we go, we're rating EBZ. What's he up to? What's he up to? What's currently going on? What's currently going on? All right, EBZ. Hello, EBZ. What's going on? We're ending our stream, and that's that. I'll see you in the future. There we go, and I will see you. I will see you later. Thank you so much, CX Brandon, Blizzard, Time Foster. Join, join the Shrill Otter Discord. Join the Shrill Otter Reddit. Uh, because they're both kind of dead, and I like talking to you guys. I like to try to like lurk. I like to respond to stuff. I'll see you, AJ, AJ Apuya, Admiral Zippo, Dub Step, Nick LCX Minute, uh, So and So, uh, Chalk Lee, Blizzard Time, Fifty Six Demon, uh, Mateo, John Kawasaki, Foster Log Log, Kemal Sabe, Freddy, Ivan YG, OMG Tricky D, Fast Fingers Fun, Vincent Win, Kuma. Yes. Hello.
I'll see you. Uh, uh, Primal Mortem, Blizzard Time, Foster, Cope Hill. I'm 21 years old. Airy, Georgie82, Soulscape, Andrew Lucas, Lucas Teddy step. Lover, uh, yeah, Blazing Buds, AJ Apuya, and so on. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the future.